Hello everybody, how's it going? We are playing some I Am Your President today because today just seemed like a good idea for it, I guess. Is this not gonna dox me, is it? I don't think that's gonna dox me. Okay, we're fine. They're just I Voted stickers. I'm pretty sure they're all the same across the country. If not, I just dox myself and you guys can find me. Congrats. Um, they don't say my county name, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I did not vote twice, by the way. My dad just gave me one of his stickers because he was like, I don't want it because I don't want people to ask me if, who I voted for, what I voted for, and how I voted. I was like, you know what? That's fair. So I took it. Uh, but I did vote today. And uh, if you didn't, you might have missed your opportunity if you're on the East Coast. But I think everywhere else you can still vote throughout the U.S. So you've got time. Go out, vote if you haven't already. Um, hello everybody, how's it going? It's good to see you all. Congrats on grabbing first, by the way, Gus. Thank you for submitting your taxes, and here's your dab. Appreciate it. Uh, I gotta go really soon, probably will miss the stream. This is the stream everybody should want to miss, to be honest. Um, thank you for submitting your taxes, Ant. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Han. I just got an ad, it's longer than the countdown. That's insane. Just found out my headphones can't turn on while charging. This is the first time charging them ever because they have a 56 hour battery life. That's insane. Wow. I have some earbuds and I only recently had to charge them and I had them since Christmas. Um, I, I use them quite a lot too. I, I, I don't know how long they're supposed to last, but my mom bought them and... Like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use them. I've only just now charged them recently. Um, it was it was really nice. It's like I plug it in, they just shut down. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha. I'm gonna up the music and sounds here a little bit. They have updated this game a little bit since I played last, and they fixed a lot of the issues that we were having with it, where, um, where there were bugs that broke a lot of the features that we needed to use. So campaign promises were either impossible to fulfill, or um, or you had the issue where, uh, where certain countries would have an interaction that you could do, and you couldn't click on it. They've fixed that, apparently, now. So I'm going to try to play it. We'll see what happens. But uh, today, I am your president. Uh, we're gonna play on medium difficulty, and just see where things go from here. I noticed some dialogue pops up twice. There's definitely still some bugs. I think the developers have pretty much abandoned the game because it just didn't really take off like they were hoping. Um, which is a shame. I think they could have done a lot more with uh, DLCs and stuff, but it's unfortunate. That's one I noticed. I'm sure there's plenty more. I'm sure there's plenty more. I didn't more. like the look of the very first president I saw. Well, surely you know this kind of people that kept saying, if you don't like it, do better. Yep. So, yeah. That's me. I was the kind of kid to answer It's such a good something. intro. It's so Nevertheless, good. Nevertheless, I didn't know I would have to do better again so quickly. But here it was, the thought that if I were president back then... <laughs> I'd wear a helmet. I would have worn a helmet. So good. Yet, growing up, I realized that <laughs> helmets so do good, not dude. always protect people from dying, but that I would. I also got to know that choosing the right confidant of your secrets is really important, and that mine would have been a locked diary. Time has passed. I got married, and if life has <laughs> taught me anything about marriage, I've forgotten some of these things. Back in the day, it was all like a game about doing better than my predecessors. She is just a friend. But that's that's harder, what it says. Darker. Must be true. And I thought, maybe instead of trying to win the challenge, I could at least try not to lose. I was full of doubts. What would I do? Would I be able to save people? Or would I only make everything worse? You can never be sure. Well, almost never. What I'm sure of is that I would never have left you, Oppie. Good job, little one. 
Now you can rest. But I was not done yet. I no longer rest wished peace, for would and wouldn't. We're coming for you. I wanted the choice between do and don't. And I finally received that choice. Do you know what I would do differently if I was the president right now? Nothing. And you know why? Because now I am your president. I find it funny he's just at every historical event, just like always there. Yeah, it's it's crazy how this man has just been everywhere and um You know, I I, I respect it. I really do respect it. I uh, he is both the luckiest and unluckiest man alive. <laughs> uh, we can skip the tutorial because I've I've played this game before and I I vaguely remember how to play. Uh, we're just gonna go through campaign promises and stuff and get things finished. So this is our chief of staff. He's uh, gonna make sure I stay on track pretty much. So. Uh, hello, Mr. President. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the White House. I am sure that your presidency will be great for America. And so am I. I just hope that we will get along and the cooperation will bear fruit. It may take some time to adjust, so please no hurry. We have a lot of time. Um, okay. Uh, so one thing that you guys will see up here in this top left corner. I'm going to teach you guys how to play really quick so you guys can follow along a little bit and, um, it'll be a lot more fun that way. Uh, up here in the top left, you'll see these bars. Uh, so you got society, pol pol politics, uh, industry, e economy, uh, military, and diplomacy. You can have a maximum of a thousand. If you get to zero, you're in trouble. So you want to try to max out all of these if you can. However, it's really, really hard, near impossible. Uh, when you pick certain options, it either ups or lowers certain things. So in this case, I think it ups my my politics if i do this one it ups my society um i'm gonna try to do my politics all the way max right now because i haven't gotten that achievement and it's really hard if i remember correctly so that's what i'm gonna shoot for but i'm not gonna necessarily force myself to pick all those choices i did it uh i did in my last run all at 1k they loved me i got really close to having all of them i think and then something happened that basically just drove my... I want to say it was it drove my industry down, but I can't remember. I see. I will do what's best for my country. All right, we have to start working. The first we should do is to establish a party line so that both the government and citizens can get accustomed to your values and principles. I understand. The critical issue is your political party. How would you like to conduct your own politics? I want to run my party. Well, interesting choice. Let's start by choosing the color of the party. There is a choice of yellow, black, or green. Why so few? Your party has a small budget. We use what we have. <laughs> Dang, okay. The tree in the second term helps. That's true. That is true. Okay, let it begin. Switch color, yellow, green, or black. We gotta do black. We're, we're gonna see the country and we're gonna paint it black. Let's go. Uh, which party do you see as the biggest threat to you? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't even, I think they're pretty 50-50 right now. However, I do know both of them are, can be very threatening to you in terms of party lines. Um... Both of them have that habit of being able to pick up speed quickly. Let's go, uh... Here. Hey Siri, pick a number in between 1 and 2. I don't know if you guys heard that. Siri said 1, so we're picking the Republicans. Well, black is a color that can be painted over by red and blue. Okay, dang. Noted, we need to think about what your what is essential to your party. I have a series of short questions prepared. Each time you can choose only one of two options, the projects available to you in the future will depend on these choices. Be careful. Okay. Healthcare or migration control? Let's see. 
that's going to have a heavier effect on diplomacy. This is going to have a heavier effect on society. Um, and economy, now I think about it. This should boost my economy if I do it right. Social welfare or education? Um... If we boost our education, we'll have better everything else, too. I think. Dipl di diplomatic presence or law enforcement? We need dip 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 diplomatic presence. There we go. Domestic intelligence or exports? Domestic intelligence and domestic labor or public infrastructure. Um, domestic labor. Imports or energy? Energy. All the way. Great for economy. <laughs> um, great. We'll still need you to answer a few questions to determine your... Okay. Here we go. What we got? Yo, my man, my director of communications. Good morning, Mr. President. I'm here to help you. Please try to answer as many questions as possible so that we can present a consistent image to the public. There are no wrong answers. Are you ready, sir? Yes. Here we go. The first question. Should gun control laws be more or less strict? Everyone should be able to protect themselves with a gun. Stricter gun control laws would reduce the number of mass shooting incidents. Both are true, however, uh, judging by U.S. Constitution, you have to go with this one. Um, I'll be right back. I gotta go yell about something. Alright, sounds good, Swiftu. Enjoy that. Uh, how do you feel about the number of voting representatives? It should be high enough to be diversified. Less is better. Big government means big expenses and ineffectiveness. I don't have an opinion on that. Should all education be free for everyone? No, only the best students should be rewarded with scholarships. Doing otherwise with lower educational standards. Yes, everyone has a right to be education educated. There's nuance in that. That's the problem. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you think the minimum wage should be increased? We would help workers know this is her business. That, that should be left up to state. Uh, which president inspires you more? John F. Kennedy, Ronald Reagan, neither of these. Ronald Reagan was insane, dude. Do you agree that minorities are underrepresented in pop culture? I don't know. I don't look at pop culture. How do you feel about the military expenditure? Um... I don't have an opinion. I'll do what I want when I do it. Should we expand visa waiver program? Uh, yes, all people are welcome to the U.S. U.S. priorities take care of Americans. I don't have an opinion. Do you believe that climate change is caused mostly by human activities? It's hard to say. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> okay, thank you. My director of communication is insane, dude. He's great. Hello again, Mr. President. Thank you for your answers to questions. Okay. You put him on a political compass. Oh, tomorrow? Okay. Uh, there are more things. Please look at this. This is a standard procedure. It will bring things in order. I have brought a short questionnaire inside it. There are some notes about, from your past. Ex essential memo memos. Uh, but also questions about the plans of in future. Please uh, fulfill it carefully, sir. Of course. Okay. Uh, so I am protected... I am king. Uh, your favorite child, because life isn't always fair. So I've got my wife, Sarah, uh, who is a relentless woman of Russian origin, brought Cold War dynamics into President's marriage. My daughter, Eleanor, a party animal, can be easily spotted in various nightclubs. Uh, daughter, Alyssa, President's oldest daughter, wife of Chester, runs a very popular blog. And the son-in-law, Chester, Alyssa's husband, black sheep of the family. Alyssa, 100%. Oldest daughter always gets the perks. <laughs> There's one reoccurring woman I hate in this game. I think it's the Secretary of Energy. I hate my daughters and wife. Oh, dang. Uh, presidential pet. Ralph the penguin, Stephen the tortoise, Margaret the shark. The shark. Shark. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, the ping one. No, the tortoise. We want a tortoise. Slipping over a banana peel, the oldest trick ever your feelings. To be honest, I find the tragedy and misery of others amusing. I'm a simple man, I enjoy good slapstick comedies. If you were about to play Russian roulette, what would be your strategy? 
Spin, pull the trigger, win. I would have an exit strategy. Someone's trying to bribe you, I bribe him back so that he doesn't tell anyone. I call the police. Yeah, I call the police. Sure. Child is crawling, trying to cross the street through a red light. Hello, little one. Stop and wait together. Didn't your mother teach you anything? Your deaf, un deaf uncle has paid you for the tickets. Asked you for the tickets to the Pinky Swear concert. Family first. How are you, Uncle Andrew? Due to his disability, I guess I may as well give him tickets for something less expensive. Uh, I mean, if I'm president, I'm getting paid pretty good, so I'll pay for my deaf uncle to go to the concert, sure. Aries of interest, know your business, we live in it. Invest, harvest, repeat, shake right hands, climb the ladder, aim for the sky. Aim for the sky. Vice president, assignment, friendship's power, you better watch out, friendship's power, the ups and downs. Um, ups and downs. Uh, the soon-to-be president's childhood, the secret has been revealed. President's can candidate, the presidential candidate's kindergarten has not always been the most peaceful place on earth. Our anonymous source has informed us about the riot, which started right after the teachers banned children from bringing their own toys to the facility. The small president had decided to bring the toys anyway and cited other children to mutiny as well. Child president has joined forces with the kindergarten teachers and helped collect the forbidden toys. We brought those toys, man. You know me. Always bringing contraband everywhere I go. Uh, thank you for submitting your taxes, Bionix. I just realized the irony of taxing you guys during this stream. <laughs> uh, foretaste of the president. See, the president has always acted in a presidential way, but in high school, he knew being in power is never a piece of cake and requires making some tough decisions. So when the student council had the opportunity to decide on the school canteen menu, he decided to include all types of food, according to the idea to each his own. Yeah, that, that would be me. President's inauguration under protection. President's obsession with his head protection has been a top, hot topic the last few weeks. Will he set a president, and uh, will we see all presidents taking an oath in a helmet? Most likely, as the com comments he made paint him as a man of unflinching resolve. I'm the leader of this nation, he said. I do not see why I should bend under pressure and resign from the head protection. You can never know what's going to happen. Yeah, every citizen, including me, should be allowed to wear whatever and wherever they like. So I don't see why I shouldn't. Why shouldn't I protect myself from the potential disaster? What a day for this stream to fall onto. Election day, taxes from King, and King is the president. I am your president. How's it going, Bionics? Good to see ya. Uh, Dan Williams diagnosed with brain aneurysm. What will his vice president do? Since Dan Williams is currently unable to govern due to his poor medical condition, the eyes of the world are on the vice president. Now he's the number one in the USA. Given the political past of the vice president, Americans may start to wonder what will happen next. Vice President is known for his entrust to entrust his subordinates with equal parts autonomy and responsibility, and, his most, and most experts agree that he will probably not use this opportunity to seek his and centralize political power. Yeah, he's... The, the Vice President is great. He's good. Wait, you voted twice? I did. <laughs> no, um... So I voted once. That, that sticker's mine. And then my dad, he gave me his sticker because he didn't want people asking him about how he voted. So he gave it to me instead because nobody can see it on his shirt then. And they're like, um, they, they would look at it and go, you know, it, it would be a reminder to them. Oh, the election was today. What would you vote for? And it's like nobody wants to talk about that. Uh, one more thing before we proceed. The promises you made during the campaign. Pick a few that you think we can deliver on. Okay. Our main goal. So, human mission to Mars. The opioid crisis. New war on terror. Strict gun control. Urgent reform on policing. Build the wall. Okay. Um, how hard are these to do? That's the question. I've never, I'm kind of of the mind we should go to Mars, personally. But at the same time, I think it could be fun to do the new war on terror. <laughs> Just because of our past here on this channel. I haven't done Mars before. Build the wall is easy. We could do that one then. It's going well. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Did you vote for Mickey Mouse? I will not be saying who I voted for or what I voted for. We had several things to vote on today. Um, 
West Virginia was also voting on governor and um, Senate seats and stuff. Uh, so we'll, we'll do Mars then. That should be fun. Build the wall is just, uh, do you want to waste money or not? Okay, gotcha. And then we pick three minor goals. Okay. So it looks like most of this is kind of just drop-offs. But these are all pluses. Unfortunately... Hmm, King voted for a written name and put down King Ragnog. Yeah, that's what I did. I voted for myself. I definitely can do that. Um, let's drop... Hmm... Those, there are those that are waiting for an opportunity to condemn the U.S., while others would rather see a tale of redemption. Why not make both sides happy? Among the tr truly successful, there are none that will tell you to aim at perfection. Okay. That might not be terrible. I think... Let's see. We can afford to lose social points, but we don't have any social points that we can lose. So we can afford to lose political points, but again, there's no political points to be lost here. Can't vote in the next election. Next election is, what, four years from now? This feels like it's too soon. In 2032 when I'm in college. This was my first presidential election to vote in. Uh, I really don't want to lose economy because economy I feel like is the backbone of my gameplay half the time. So I'm going to be able to hold on to that for as long as I can. I think I can rebuild industry and diplomacy though. So we'll go ahead and drop the diplomacy with rebound diplomacy here. I think I can fix it. That's not that bad. When I'm in college, I can vote. I'll be able to. Next election, yeah. Four years. Yeah, yeah, you'll be able to, Bionics. It's weird. It's weird to think about. Like, you guys are getting old. Okay. I was busy today, Mr. President. It's only the beginning. I'll give you some time to settle down. You must gain strength since we have much to do during your presidency. I appreciate your help. Look at that. We've got strong politics and strong military. It's time to walk softly and carry a big stick, boys. So it's like your first man mission to the red planet. Okay. Um, so you got to complete human mission to Mars part one, which is here, which is just to decide to send the first person. Um, never fall below 150 military. Never fall below 350 politics. Uh, unlock Republican project, open borders, or Democratic, preach out. Okay. We could do this. Easy. Just stretch here. I doubt you can get the politics one. I, I usually do pretty good with politics, but near the end is usually where I fumble the bag. It's hard to keep it falling. Yeah, it, it's tough. Especially in crisis times, yeah. Uh, nice to see you again. What is happening? I messed up bad? Really, really bad? Did I really? With what? Foreign policy? The economy? Don't tell me you started a war. No, that wouldn't be half that bad. It's about my wife, Sarah. I was so busy I forgot about our anniversary yesterday. Ooh, that is bad. It's hard. What did she tell you? Um, When I was eating dinner, she made that weird sound and frowned at me. She was kind of looking like a disappointed cat when I asked her what was wrong she said nothing that that is that's worse than anything nothing is literally w the worst thing ever I know she must be really mad at me what am I supposed to do now I'm not sure I can only tell you what I would do in a similar situation buy her a gift fall on your knees and beg for forgiveness that sounds reasonable it's only one problem I have no idea what kind of gift would do the trick yeah yeah that, that would be me Gotta fall in line with the simp behavior. 
Uh, what does she love most besides her family, of course? I'm not sure. Flowers? All of them love flowers. I have no idea, but I've seen her watching some music videos online, all from the same guy. Perfume Messiah, if I remember correctly. Um... That's the one. That's something maybe Sarah likes this guy's music and you should focus on that. Great, thank you for the help. I have an amazing idea. <laughs> it's Mr. President, yo, and welcome back. I found I'm a simp officially. ChatGPT called me a lot of terrible things the other day. I, I am a simp as well. Mr. Simp, I mean President. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. I'm I'm hanging in there. We're We're playing the best political game without mentioning politics one bit. I think we're doing fantastic so far. We're 30 minutes in the stream and we haven't mentioned one candidate name. If you guys do mention a candidate name, I might have to ban you for the full stream. So don't do it. Um, <laughs> turns out Sarah President's wife is a fan of an amazing but controversial artist known as Perfume Messiah. Mr. President decided to surprise her and just one day after their anniversary. He took Sarah to a secret private concert where Perfume Messiah performed just for the first couple and no one else. Our sources claim that it was one of the most magical evenings of her entire life. Better well and hang in there getting stronger every day, huh? Yeah. I feel like it anyway. I, you know, you... You win some days, you lose other days. Uh, American Veterans Week. Good morning, Mr. President. I trust you had a chance to familiarize yourself with American Veterans Week. Was it to your liking? Would you like me to bring the document you signed for your signing? Is there like a place I can look at that, or... I don't think there's a place for me to look at that. Um, reply, yes, go ahead and take it up. But non... Uh... Daddy, the, wow. Wow, Lamb, wow, that's crazy. Um, to answer your question, Swiftu, um, I don't know. I actually don't know. Okay, skip tutorials. Okay, I present the United States of America by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and laws of the United States. Do hereby proclaim, uh... Once again, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to those true patriots who decided to serve our beautiful country. Dear veterans, to honor your achievements, I hereby pronounce the first Americans Veterans Week. Yeah, that works. That's my signature right there. Boom. Look at that. Okay. So we've, we've now put into law here... That's just cringe, Lamb. That's that's just cringe. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Yo, we're falling already towards anarcho-capitalism. We're getting closer, guys. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Um, let's see, about me. We could do this. Do we have anything else going on today? I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something right now, aren't I? Maybe cringe, but you're mean and that's worse. That's crazy. You write your name in. I just scribble. I didn't know this existed. Yeah, you can you can write a whole name. You got your political compass. Uh, let's see. Here. Uh, so there's like a whole tab here. So you can look at your compass here. And I think I've gotten to... I want to say we did communism once. That was fun. Um, you can look at all your actions that you've ever done. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Okay, I think at this current point, we just gotta keep focusing on keeping all my points up. Biggest one being politics and military, which are easy enough. Okay, so we need to unlock either open borders or preach out. Okay, I think that's all for today anyway, so we're good. First few days are slow. Yeah, I, I forgot how slow they were, to be honest. Is my phone on fire? <laughs> I want to say we did communism once. That was fun. Yeah, I, I, great choice of words. 
Let's get out of business to defeat the haters. We have a great four years ahead of us, and if we don't screw anything up, the following four will be too. Exactly, dude. However, it would be worthwhile to start doing something. Have you actually thought about changing about changes in our great country that you'd like to implement? Yes, I already have some ideas. Great, I have, I have an idea how we can start making this reality. Okay, tell me. Can't be passive. You want to win people's hearts, you have to act, preferably change something or introduce something great. We will then use your name, add a word, and that's it. Making history. Okay. What do you suggest? It's a. It's more of a question of what you suggest, and we will implement it. I have some documents for you. I'm sure you'll find something interesting. Any advice? Yes. Remember that nothing is free. Investments cost money, so don't drive the country into ruin because instead of improving the situation, you only ruin it. Also, try to make decisions that will improve the country. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Well, I think that's it. Would you like to review the documents now? Yes, please. Honestly, though, King Ragnarok presidential candidate in 2040, that would go crazy. I would be a great presidential candidate. Okay, so open borders is one that we need to unlock uh, in order to... Um, in order to... Uh, in order to win one of our promises. Uh, alternatively... Reach out was the other one. Or no, preach out, sorry. That was the other one. Okay. Um... I'm not approving that, Lamb. I want to approve that. Open the borders. Modern day Americans won't like that so much. Oh, jeez. I can already see where this stream is starting to head. I'm scared. Um, energy. <laughs> Espionage, work expenditure, military industry. Okay. I want to get nukes. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you actually can get that. Um... It might not be in there, rather, but in the big stick policy. Yep, there it is. So that's one of the big ones we want to get. Um, I'll keep it tame, try to at least. Definitely do your best. I'm, I'm not going to yell at you guys too much. Uh, just be careful, because once Admiral gets home, uh, he, he has been told that he gets full reign on punishments and such um okay what i want to do all stats that's a pretty good one plus three for all stats on all every turn that's that's really nice actually one thing you have to do, unlock nukes, please. Okay. Um. Let me... Okay. Yeah, we could, we could probably do the nukes. Uh, so big stick policies where you have to go with that then. Um, so I have to either go down here on the bottom or up here on the top. So, up gives you conquer, conquer upgrade, uh, spin diplomacy to prevent other countries to engage. Uh, this one allows, um, ooh, negative four to current funding. Okay. That gives you plus ten to current funding. To max funding, a plus three to current. So that one would be better for us. We gotta nuke the French, true. I'll make my own nukes. I'm saving for the plutonium as we speak. Okay. So I gotta put some, uh... Some points into that. Which is gonna hurt some other things, but it'll help some other things as well, so we should be okay. Um... Okay.
We're doing so good, guys. We're doing so, so good. Ah, uh, my secretary. No, attorney general, sorry. I thought it was my secretary. <laughs> Mr. President, we have no time to waste. An armed man with a time bomb on his chest is currently robbing one of the banks here in Washington. He refuses to negotiate with the police and he wants you to meet his demands personally. What demands? Might sound a little strange, but he wants you to order 19 burgers, 19 fries, and 19 sodas. Is he insane? Screw him and his demands. Let's call the National Guard. It's a bit strange, but alright. Are you sure, sir? Maybe he's just playing with us, right? First, ask the guy... Uh, ask that guy... Right. First, ask why that guy wants that many burgers. Tell the cops to shoot him. We don't negotiate with maniacs. Uh, ask him why. He said the food is not for him. That's weird. Either he's lying or those burgers are for hostages. Let's place the order and see what happens. We can afford a couple of burgers. Ninety-nine burgers, ninety-nine fries, ninety-nine shakes. Bank robbers stole a hundred thousand and forced U.S. president to order burgers and fries. Yesterday in Washington D.C., an armed robber stole a reported one hundred thousand in cash from a local bank while the robbery was still in progress, and police surrounded the building. The robber decided to force the president to order burgers, French fries, and sodas for all the nineteen hostages inside. No one was killed that day. Unfortunately, the robber managed to escape using the sewer system. It might sound strange, but something tells me we haven't seen the last of him. Everyone check announcements. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Great idea, Pi. Great idea. Is this game worth it? It looks so funny. It's pretty good, yeah. Um it's it's goofy. Uh I I would say it's worth it if you get it on sale. Um if unless you just have a lot of money laying around and you you know, you don't have anything that you've been keeping your eye on already. But if you have, um, if you find it on sale, it's definitely worth the price. Uh, it goes on sale fairly often, if I'm not mistaken. I would, little pro tip for all of you guys. Uh, Christmas is coming up. There's a, usually a pretty good sale at, around the winter time for Christmas. Uh, if you miss the Christmas sale, then you can also get, um, a pretty good sale around the Lunar New Year. And then, um... There's also a good sale in spring and summer. So there's there's a couple of good opportunities to buy games if you're looking for it. Aren't you in West Virginia? Yes. You should play the Joe Biden dating sim. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't know if I want to play it. Uh, make Admiral your VP. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. What could go wrong with that? When I kill- I mean, if you die, the potential- the presidential position will be in good hands. Exactly! Exactly! I would- I- I'm not dying, right? I'm not dying. That's silly. Ha <laughs> ha Uh, oh no. Okay. We are running a little- a little low on diplomacy, so we gotta start making moves soon. We're still mainstream, that's fine. We're gonna move soon-ish. Taxes for the new president. Yo, let's go. Your stuff just got announced. Uh, certain counties are done, but uh, all of it shouldn't be done yet. Hang on. Uh, yeah, they're only doing 3% of the reporting right now. Now, they've estimated on who they think are going to win, but they're only reporting 3%. I mean, like, for example, like, Indiana and Ohio, uh, in Kentucky, sorry, uh, they've, they've been done for a couple of hours, and they're only reporting 25% of the votes so far. Um, Florida's almost done reporting. They're at 75% reports right now. Um, okay. I'm not going to look at that too much tonight. I don't, I don't really care enough right now. Uh, they got called already. I mean, they can estimate, but the thing is that the, the, your Senate seat winner got called. Oh, 
there is no doubt on who is going to win Senate here, if I'm honest. There's a popular majority in West Virginia. Um, that's... There, there's there's a whole lot of reasons that go into that, but I won't I won't go into all that. Um, twenty three three is scary. Uh, are you talking about the, the electoral college? See, here's the thing about the electoral college: you can't really say much until like one of them has a hundred, because you've got things like California, uh, Texas, Florida. Florida has thirty electoral votes. Uh. Michigan, Pennsylvania. Uh, what are what's the other one? Nevada usually has is like a a pretty key win there as well. Uh, New York, for example, also I think has a lot of electoral college seats. Uh, so you you have to kind of keep that in mind. Like for example, Ohio has seventeen electoral votes. Um, versus like for example, West Virginia only has four. Or, um, Rhode Island, I think, has two, if I remember correctly. Uh, Vermont has three. Uh, New Hampshire has four. Uh, so all that can change within, like, literally an hour. Uh, so I wouldn't keep an eye on it until literally midnight tonight. By then, it would actually matter. Uh, I've listened to like 20 people yap about it. Some people say it will, some people say it won't. Tomorrow you will definitely have a clearer look at what's going on. It might still be 50-50 though. That's as much as I can say because I really don't know is the truth. Mr. President, it's come to my attention that you are entirely neglecting international relations. I've been busy, nowhere to burn after all. Excuse me, and how was I supposed to take care of them? You could have asked, I'd be happy to help. In that case, what can I do? React, gain influence, invest, and intervene. You have to access a nuclear suit. You have even have access to a nuclear suitcase. However, I don't recommend this particular option. This case caught my attention. Please start calmly. We want to wait to roll out big guns over time. We will be able to afford more and more. The projects you can you run can open up many opportunities. So if you want to go wild and show who's boss, keep that in mind. Sure, give me the map. You'll be proud of me. <laughs> All right. Okay, we gotta start working on some things, so. Trade agreement, this action allows you to sign trade agreements with allied and open countries. It's effective way of improving your industry score. They're distrustful. Okay. I gotta start boosting some of my stuff here. I can only count to four. Uh, trade deals with other countries is the best way to gain high in industry. Yeah. Past few months, I have, have been so confusing. I just hate how the commercials just say how the other candidate is bad. Nothing about how they'll make things better. Yep. Welcome to modern day politics. There's no active action to cancel, okay. Uh, who would be in my best interests here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's a bad idea. Okay, um... You give me plus 13 to the economy as well. Or are giving me plus 13 to the economy. You give me plus 7 based on my strength as well. Country will slowly gain more power. Um, out of all the countries that I want to gain power, it's really... Just not the superpowers that I want to worry about. So I'm going to wait. Where's Japan? Um, they're somewhere down here, aren't they? Shoot, hang on. I don't know my geography. Silly American moment. There they are. Okay. <laughs> Hear me out. North Korea, guys. 
Um, oh, that changes stuff. I just click on the random ones. Yeah, there there are some uh, some things here that you can you can do. Okay, so Japan plus ten. That's actually like pretty good. Okay, that's what I want to do then. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, I have AP to spend. We're we're fine now. Okay, we'll let that be for a minute. Would make a better president, lamb, admiral, or king. Okay. Best president, lamb, admiral, king. I'll give you guys two minutes to vote on that. Um. Yeah, there we go. I'm sleep deprived and very loopy. Fair enough. Uh, oh yeah, Georgia was getting bomb threats. That doesn't surprise me. That seems to be the case uh, with a lot of places right now. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. I trust you had a chance to familiarize yourself with comment uh, with commenting on the alleged presence of extraterrestrials within certain administrative structures. Was it to your likening? I would like to see the documents. Yes. During the decades-long research of potential extraterrestrial life, analyzing tons of alleged evidence material, it's now safe to say alien life doesn't exist, and therefore it couldn't have contacted the U.S. government or shared the weapon blueprints like some conspiracy theorists seem to imply. There's nothing out there, period. W that's not W- that that's crazy. Um, let's just- there we go. Uh, okay. Um. So we just declassified aliens, basically. Um. <laughs> if it, it is possible that aliens exist. Is that about extraterrestrial life? Yup. Just, just a little bit. And there's something on Mars. Exactly! Exactly! Okay, so now we can grab this, which will boost our economy. Um, it'll give us actions for Conquer, and it'll boost our current funding and max funding. This would just drop it down. However, this would boost all of our stats as well. I mean, we're currently losing there and that's really it we're losing on industry this would give us plus five to that however yeah i think we're better off with this i applied for biome battles they're having a mini one next month oh okay neat it's not talking about the bomb threats responding to the bolt. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, I won by a landslide victory there. <laughs> um, we'll run with this one then, I think. Yeah. Okay. We're going straight for big stick. We do have to watch out, because diplomacy is kind of plummeting right now, and industry is kind of plummeting as well. Diplomacy is pretty bad too. Yeah, it's not great. But you know, it's it's fine, it's fine. I mean, it'll, it'll jump back up tomorrow. <laughs> okay. We might have to make some action changes here. How are you doing? Uh, as good as ever. Wonderful, we have quite an important matter to discuss today, so I'm glad you're in top shape. Is that so? It's time to start working on your public image, sir, especially in the context of your re-election. That's three whole years away. That's true, but your case is quite special because your predecessor was forced to drop his candidacy just months before the election. He sort of just inherited his campaign, skipping several major steps in the process. That makes sense. 
Um, yeah, diplomacy is kind of pretty garbage right now. Uh, according to our research, most people do not have a strong opinion about you yet. We'd like to take this opportunity to start working on building your image and re-election strategy before sensationalist media outlets beat us to it. I think I might be late for that. I'm sure that despite having been in the office for no more than a year, you've already had numerous criticisms leveraged against you. Okay. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's going to get worse. In this day and age, nobody can get through an election cycle without their reputation being untarnished. What we're hoping to achieve is to get in front of these attacks, okay? By showing the people what kind of person you really are, of course the campaign is just one small piece of that puzzle, but more people will vote for you if they feel that you share their values, okay? I just want you to answer a few questions about the campaign, Mr. President. We need to make sure it's aligned with your particular sensibilities. Gotcha. Of course, oh, and just one last thing. Please do not feel obliged to display every possible virtue. Not only will it dilute our message, but it also might be used against you for if for any reason you feel low up to the standard you set for yourself. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Three minutes of ad time? Okay, gotcha, Lamb. Easy. Imagine not having been subscribed to my Twitch channel. That's crazy. <laughs> Three minutes of ad time. Okay. Uh, let's start with your identity as a politician, sir. As a leader, what emotion would you like to inspire in your const constants? Uh, excitement, confidence, focus on issues, to be honest. Okay. Uh, excitement. I want people to be excited. See, now there are several sentiments prevalent in our public discourse, and I'd like to know... Okay. Distrust towards institutions, which are often believed to undermine the rights and freedoms of regular citizens. Would you like to lean on such libertarian statements? I'm quite passionate about drawing, draining the swamp. It's not something I oppose personally, but I'm not sure if it's the most pressing issue out there. Attacking the institutions I'm managing, talking about cutting the branch you're standing on. Uh, yeah, let's drain the swamp, sure. I'm gonna fire all my co-workers. <laughs> oh no. On the other hand, many Americans believe that there are more immediate threats, both foreign and domestic, putting our nation at risk. I consider keeping my people safe to be my biggest responsibility. I'm certainly going to address these issues, but I don't want to fear to define my political message. Or the focus on root cause and address the surface level symptoms. Uh, protect the people, sure. <laughs> I'm not really paying attention to half what he's saying. Um... We need to consider how much emphasis we want to put on national pride and prosperity. American excep ex exceptionalism is still a prevalent sentiment after all. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, climate change, social safety net, and technological advancement. Um... I don't think, realistically, you shouldn't have to run on any of that. Just, we don't, we have other things to address first. We have a lot more better things to talk about. I do have a preference in that regard. Fundraising is something we cannot overlook. Oh, um, don't worry about that. Numerous business people line up to show me their support once they see how much my presence has done for the economy. I uh, know. Party will take care of their number one guy. It's been a man of the people. Let's try to secure funding through individual donations. That's how we'll do it. Perfect. I think I've got all the info I need from you, Mr. President. Okay, gotcha. Don't worry about that at all. After all, I never lose. I never lose. <laughs> I am... <laughs> I can't be serious about that. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So, the de de diplomacy is kind of dropping. Um... Diplomatic relations might be our best bet here. Preach out. Screw the rules, Admiral 2024, for stronger alcohol. That's crazy. Would any of this give us good, um, boosts? 
Not really. It would be in my best interest to, to reach out and preach out in that case. Which would drop, you know, the things that I really need to work on. But at the same time, it would be really good to have. I don't know. Thank you for submitting your taxes, Admiral. Appreciate it. We'll go ahead and bump up the work expenditure there. And grab safety and numbers. Which is going to actually drop my society by a considerable chunk. Um, or wait, hang on. Yeah. But it's a risk I'm willing to take here. Okay. So, I will put a little bit more work into the world stage here, then. So, we're, we're trading with Japan. Uh, Canada. Or no, it's just, it's just gotta be opened. Gotcha. Okay. All of you guys are gonna boost my industry, which definitely does need boosted, so... Um, every turn, you're plus eight, so Brazil is a good one. Um, plus eight from Germany. Okay. I think it's in my best interest then to, oh! Okay, I found India. They're plus 10. While they will gain power, yes. It's better for me to go ahead and do this trade deal because I need it for my sake of industry. Um, I can't afford any more, otherwise I would go for Brazil as well. Okay. So we're just going to put that in one of our projects instead. Uh, the question is, do I want to go ahead and... We're be our best bet here, honestly, at this point, is to put it into the diplomatic presence, then. Hello, Electronic. Thanks for popping in and submitting your taxes. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well as well. Um, but thanks for popping in. India's pretty good, too. Yeah, I, I, I happen to see that. It, they, are, they are pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm thinking... We'll probably run into our uh, diplomatic presence now, because I just need to up diplomacy in general. Uh, the only thing I'm losing on right now is military and industry, and my military will be gaining soon. Um, so I'll go ahead and put another point into that, and we should be fine. Alright, anything else that we need to worry about? Probably not. I think we're okay. Uh, story change. Uh-oh. I mean, I've never seen this country in my life. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I, I did not know that was <laughs> the country. Uh, mosque shooting. A senseless massacre has taken place in one of the mosques and, uh... Er, 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 Eritrea. Eritrea, yes. I like to investigate China and prove my friendship with them because they have a good trade deal, if memory serves me correctly. Okay. I'll have to look into that, maybe. Use this opportunity to condemn any anti-Muslim sentiments. Ask Muslims to let bygones be bygones. Violence will not be tolerated. Send my condolences to families of the victims. Okay, this is purely political choice here. Uh, my industry is failing. Do I have any industry points that could boost me here? No. It's either social... Uh, political... Or social plus action point. The extra action point would actually be really handy. This one would boost us to open... 
but it's a 50-50 chance. This one's guaranteed. I think I'm gonna go for the extra action point. <laughs> Send my condolences to families of the victims. Okay. Uh... Action points the W move. It really is, especially early game. We are losing politics now, so we need to be careful here. Okay, maybe another trade agreement here. Brazil has eight, so we'll go with Brazil here. And that, that will save my industry. Okay, we're good now. We're not going to put any more into that until we need to. Okay. Mr. President, I hope that you have gotten used to this office already. There is some work ahead of us, or rather cooperation. I took this game way too seriously for a while. Once you get to a certain point, it's just like, okay, we can't take seriously this. We can't take this seriously anymore, can we? Can we really? Uh, there's some work ahead of us, or rather cooperation. Cooperation? Well, you've already appointed the entire cabinet of the United States, and by now they should be up and running with their new reality. Left, left alone, however, they may be ineffective. Um, I agree. What do you suggest, then? I suggest looking at them, engaging their moods, checking if they're motivated enough. Your decisions can affect their performance, so it's essential to keep it under control at all times. Can I influence their effectiveness? If they see what you're doing, what they themselves believe in, then they will stand behind you. It's pretty cynical, but shared interests bring people together best. Okay, what if we don't agree? Well, then it would be better to steer them away. Control is a form of trust, so don't be afraid. A lousy advisor can do more harm than help, and human nature is unpredictable. I understand. I should be able to handle it. I'm sure you'll manage. Please keep my advice in mind. As memorizing things and developing different strategies kind of had to... Uh, kind of had to in order to get more achievements. That's fair. Sure, buddy. Okay, my cabinet. Every leader needs a council, and cabinet members are here just to do that. Besides occupying a specific position, everyone has unique talents and preferences, which is something to keep in mind. From among the cabinet members, select close advisors. Only close select close advisors. Only close advisors will affect the daily changes in statistics. Okay. So you're plus six. You're plus twelve. You're plus twelve. Plus six. Six. Ooh. Okay, hang on. We we gotta. Okay, I I'm gonna select all my orange people and put them over there. We've gotta segregate for a second. Give me a minute while I figure out who I want around me. So plus six, plus twelve. Okay, in terms of things right now, we are losing politic points, so... My economy is doing fine. Or actually what I'm thinking I'm gonna do... I'm gonna swap you two out. Because I, I just need any political points I can do. Okay. So you're plus 12, so my military is going to be doing fine. So we just got to keep an eye on my political gains, and we should be okay here. Everything else will be okay. I hit the Secretary of Commerce. Uh, Secretary of Commerce. Her? What did she do to you? <laughs> Good morning, sir. I'm here to talk about one of your war material expenditure programs, huh? But that's outside of your competencies, isn't it? You're correct to say that, sir, but it's an exception, Mr. President. You've been very vocal lately, reminding Americans how lucky and safe they are to live in this beautiful country. Ah, yes. As part of the Safety in Numbers program, I thought it was a success. It is indeed, but some of your citizens seem to have taken your words to heart. Have you heard hashtag suck it, rocket man? What? No. It's another one of those internet challenges. This one demands you record a short video provoking the leader of North Korea, hammering the point that the US is entirely untouchable. Could be a better look for us, sir. 
Are you talking about? This sounds hilarious. Mm, I see what you mean. International politics is no joke. I gotta go. Just came to submit my taxes. All right. Sounds good, Spicy. Thank you for submitting your taxes. I appreciate it. Secretary of Defense usually hates me because I nuke France, but my military, military power be booming, so she's trying to complain. <laughs> you just make her job difficult. King is built like an unmanned person. What does that mean? I think this sounds hilarious. I don't care that it drops my diplomacy. Either way, I was hoping you could screech at your followers. In such cases, silence equals approval. Okay, I'm on it. Alright, time to screech. Encouraging. Oh man, what an evening. I'm gonna grab some popcorn. Keep them coming. <laughs> Attention all Americans, please stop being mean and telling Rocket Man <laughs> it might hurt his little feelings. Well, I appreciate this outflow of creativity. I would much rather see it directed someplace useful. Perhaps spending this time to help your neighbor grow up and stop screeching at me. We're gonna encourage. Encourage them. Yes! Yes! Because of your presence, you not everybody can afford popcorn. Stop flaunting. What do you mean? What do you mean? I feel like I... I... My economy is not terrible. I, it's not great, but it's not terrible. In fact, I'm working on a plan to fix it. Very soon. Evaluating and improving the state marine environments. Sure. I'll check it out. I nuked Fiji in the name of testing. <laughs> Mr. President, why did you invade Canada? And I'm like, they're too safe. Understood. Okay. The planet's surface slowly turns into an uninhabitable desert. I've decided we should start building a system of interconnected underwater bases. It looks like underwater life is the only op option for future generations. I like this idea. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, I put some money in this diplomatic presence. We're gonna keep putting some money in there. Um... Okay, we need to go up, because we gotta buy Preach out. So that's what we're gonna do here. It'll also give us diplomatic relations, which is good. Okay. Um, so far, politics is kind of dropping really fast, so we'll need to look into how we can up this. Um... How can I do that quickly, is my question. This one looks pretty good. A plus 10 for every turn. And then plus 50 to a random stat, I think, is what that says. Okay, we might have to look into that. Um... I gotta keep putting money into the expenditure here. I invaded Poland, that one was funny. I've seen that there's some good achievement names for some of those, so I, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about who we want to invade when we get to that point. Right now, I think we're just playing for fun, though. One second. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're good. Uh, okay. One thing I also want to check out. Um, we're slowly falling into capitalism and anarcho-capitalism. We're, we're making our way there very quickly, actually. Took all of Europe at one point. <laughs> I would kind of like to see if we could take the whole world. I don't know if that's possible, but I would like to try. New map awaits, new map events await your inspection. Okay. Uh, a major earthquake wreaks havoc in urban areas in Jamaica. Send help. Sell help. We're sending over our thoughts and prayers, which doesn't give me a new point, so it's not worth it. Um, this answer will create effects from negative 10 to negative 25 economy. 
We could take the hit, sell help, which would be a... Hmm... We could probably afford to do that as well. How's our society doing? We're, we're making points on it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna, we're gonna try to sell help. Success! Yes! Okay. I will take that. My economy is doing very good now. Um... Diplomatic relations. Let me take a look at that. So... Theoretically, if I were to do this, it would... Would it make us, like, have more political points with them? I guess? Because that's, like, one of my things. It's sort of dropping steadily. I mean, we're getting closer to fixing it, but... I don't know. Be right back in a popcorn. Alright, sounds good. Sounds good, Lim. I easily could have, but the game ended too early. Oh, gotcha. It tells you what it does when you over the country, so that's different effects for each country. Okay. Just changes our relation is all. isn't like a terrible thing it's just like I don't I don't really need that not at the moment anyway um in the top left where your stats are you dummy oh oh okay I didn't see that okay I never saw that before they never explain it Doing it to China would be a huge boost. Oh, I got an achievement for it too. Let's go. Okay. I just did one of the best trade deals in the history of trade deals. Possibly, quite possibly ever. What does the hand do? Uh, it is establishing a diplomatic resolution with them. It's actually better to do it with China than to be allies with China. Really? Interesting. Mr. President, there uh, has been an incident. Uh, what sort of incident? Well, it just so happened, but so... F no, it just happened, but so far there seems to be a serious case of domestic terrorism. What? <laughs> the property damage has been substantial and the event was highly televised, so I feel it is my duty. Casualties? Well, just a perpetrator, and luckily nobody got injured, but... Why are you here? What happened exactly? Long story short, a frustrated citizen has spent the past year turning a bulldozer into a tank, then welded himself in shot inside and rampaged through his hometown. Quite seen, easy to televise. Somebody should stop him. That's no longer necessary, sir. Eventually the bulldozer got stuck, and the police heard a single gunshot from inside. It took them hours to extract the body. What a story... Uh, what a story, Mark. No danger, no problem. See you later. I see. What do you want from me? I'm in our monitoring the web, and some people deem to believe that mac macro dozer, that's what they call him, is a hero. I'm afraid you might become a martyr figure among the anti-authoritarian types. Hmm. What's more, he left a suicide note. It's pretty troubling. We seized it as soon as it was reported, but wanted to ask for your opinion before taking any further action. Destroy the note, scrap the dozer, do not entertain terrorists. We should publish the note. I think so too, sir, but before we do it, please take a look at it yourself. I took the liberty to include some less uncomfortable suggestions from the team and me. That guy wrote a real note on yellow paper, just something to consider. Thank you. Okay. We get to write our first speech. Okay. Oop. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh man. Okay. Here we go. I never wanted y'all to see me like this, but what can a man do week after week, month after month? <laughs> okay. Oh man, I just can't wait to plow through the main streets. I used to be it used to be all American out. It's full of Chinese shops and Mexican restaurants. Wow. Sorry, mom and dad. This is no longer the country you fought so hard for. The country is no longer great, and it's time for action.
This is just like a terrible one. Wait, who died? Your mom. No, dang. We're just gonna pull the god, god card here. Um. Oh shoot! Wait. I'm politi- I- I am making my own note from this man. I gotcha. Okay, wait. I wasn't understanding what this man had done. Okay. You're choosing what you edit and what you're honest about. Okay. Um, since we're trying to go for, uh, like... Hmm. You know what? I'm just, I'm just going for it. This is good enough, yep. This, this, this will do. This will do. Okay, uh... Okay. Let me answer my mom's text here really quick. Uh, her and I are going shopping tomorrow. I hope there's no Minecraft update. I realize that, like, I, I kind of planned right over top of the potential Minecraft update. And it's like, that was not my best idea. Promoting education programs for the working class. Let's, uh, send it on up. Uh, from now on, every willing member of the working class, legal adult, or not, is able to attend free online courses provided by the selective, the selected nonprofit organizations. The acquired knowledge shall cover the course of studies up to the end of secondary school. Sure. I always thought online school should be free to some degree if the government could provide it. I think that would be fair enough, especially if you've already made the courses. Um. Okay. Are we losing anything right now? No. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some money into the war expenditure then. And we're gonna do some mandatory military service. Which will probably remove a lot of my society, but you know, it's okay. Big stick policy coming to a theater near you soon. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, we are slowly moving the 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 button down. Okay. Boom. All right. What do you want, sir? Want to see me, sir? What happened? Did you use creature today? It is not working. Useless and broken, just like my heart right now. What happened? <laughs> Really? That's a bummer. I hope they fix it soon. That's it, you hope? Don't you know some of us actually use Screecher every day? Do you live under a rock? <laughs> Me too, but I assumed you could do something about it. Was I wrong? <laughs> well, I'm not CO Screecher. I have no idea why it stopped working. Maybe some hackers did something. Hackers? Like Russian hackers? That, those are the ones. Maybe Russian, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not hackers. Maybe something else entirely. I knew it. A person came into... <laughs> Oh, jeez. Maybe it's not hackers. Perhaps it's just broken. Logical solution is to wait and see what happens. Patience is a virtue, you know. Patience? Without Screecher, I feel like I'm on some desert island. No one to talk to. Nothing to look at. Well, you are talking to me right now, and this is not a desert island. We are. There are dozens of people working for you behind these walls. That's not the same. <laughs> I can only connect to human beings when I'm online. That's why I use Screecher every day till death do us apart. Sometimes, maybe, but they have... All faces instead of emojis and sometimes smell funny. Also, the resolution of the so-called reality is not in true 4K. You and you look a little bit low res from time to time. I'm sorry, I'm doing what I can to look at least bearable. Oh no, it's it's not your oh look, creature's working now. <laughs> Plus the sneak piece attack. 
We gotta love Screecher. We live in a very complicated and sometimes outright scary reality. It's good to know that Screecher is alive and well. We would be lost without it. During labor, the pain is so great that a woman can almost imagine what many of us felt when today when Screecher wasn't working for an hour or two. Hate this outside world and basically deaf and blind and paralyzed when Screecher's not working. Trust me. On the second day, God created Screecher. It was so good. He shouldn't go create anything else, to be honest. <laughs> Gotta do a funny tweet. We're gonna be a funny president. Sounds about right. Perfectly logical reactions. Good morning, sir. Perhaps it's not my place to say it, but we need to talk about your daughter, Eleanor. Oh no, what did she do this time? Good morning, Mr. President. It's nothing particularly bad. As you know, she's quite an outspoken person. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. First one's a bit dark, just a little bit. A certain feminist publication took advantage of some of the comments she made online and is trying to put her on a pedestal, probably to stir up some controversy. Okay, what is it? Eleanor unwittingly got dragged into a discussion about mandatory military service program that you've launched, and she screeched that, and I quote, fair is fair. Says in the Constitution that I'm no worse than any guy, so why do some regulations systematically omit us? To which the publication above replied, like, MMS program. Provoking Eleanor to fire back, yeah, I didn't know about that, or like, shampoo discounts. Oh boy, she's always out there causing trouble. Indeed, sir, and now we have a very vocal feminist minority attacking us on this point saying we should also be included in the MMS program. Would you cons would you mind asking your daughter to remove that screech? Um, that's nice, sorry for the trouble. I have a better idea, let's have her undergo the training. That ought to teach her a thing or two about thinking about before she speaks. I mean, if the feminists want it so bad, we should be happy to oblige. We should be. Are you serious? The project itself was a very controversial idea. Now this, only a handful of countries worldwide have tried something like that. As my daughter said, fair is fair. Time for some equality. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, promoting safe and responsible driving in the age of technology. Uh, sure, send it on up. Corn, corn Pop was bad, dude, and he ran with a bunch of bat. What? <laughs> I'm confused. Finding solutions to increasing our safety on the streets and reducing the number of reckless drivers by discouraging people from texting and driving and uh, dangerous behaviors while playing Puke Mon Go. Yeah, sure. Why not? We love Puke Mon Go. <laughs> Anything on the world stage that we gotta worry about? We could up our politics. Um, talking to Pakistan would definitely help. However, we could always invade somebody. You guys want to invade Poland? <laughs> Where, where's Poland? I'm sorry, I'm blind all of a sudden. Um, that's Belgium. Am I dumb? Poland's right there! I am I knew it was big, I just couldn't see apparently. Oh, that would actually get rid of my military? I don't want to do that then. I guess military bases is actually how you like... ...really um, make things good. Poland is going to be in next to Germany? Yes. I just went to the wrong side of things. Oof, that would actually rip us apart. Okay. We're gonna have to wait until the military is a little bit stronger, that's fine. In the meantime, we'll just like pick up a um country of some sort. We like Bangladesh. I'll give us plus two. Pakistan will give us plus three. Pakistan's better than... <laughs> okay. Gotta get back to the projects tab. And we're gonna put some more money into the war expenditure. <laughs> oh, the big stick policy is coming soon. Invade the British. Be back in a second. Alright, sounds good, Admiral. Ooh, industry is plummeting. I didn't realize just how bad it was. What were my campaign promises? Um. Okay, so long as we don't lose military and um, politics, we're fine. We need to also boost our 
open border preach out policy thing. It'll be fine. Everybody else is still happy? Yeah? Okay. That's good. We'll keep you guys on that side of the table if you don't mind. Um, okay. Swap those two around. I'm trying to keep everybody that's orange over here just so I can tell. Okay, next day. Things are not great, but they could be worse. They could certainly be worse. Uh, Mr. President, we have some problems with people affected by, or um, let's call it technological progress. Did Dogecoin and cat currency finally make a baby? I can't believe I, I casually leaked my location. Yeah, you know... Everybody has those days, I guess. No, sir, but you're pretty close. Last week, more than $300 billion have been wiped off the crypto, crypto market as the so-called stable coins became highly unstable. Money disappears. Stable means unstable. Business as usual. Stable, you mean like the horse farm or something? Do I do like horses. Money disappears. Stable means unstable. Business as usual. Not exactly. Some of the biggest restaurant chains in California and Arizona, like Blockchain Burgers or Fried NFTs, paid their staff in crypto only. I think I'm connecting the dots. The dots are not looking good. Coin they chose, Fantastic Moonshine, also known as PMS, <laughs> was worth more than 50 cents last Friday. Oh boy. Now it's worth less than one cent. And all those people just found out they were working <laughs> for less than 10 cents an hour. Ooh. They may not be ecstatic about that. First wave of riots is nearing Silicon Valley. Some protesters brought torches, while others ha only had e-torches on their phone. Look how far we have fallen. Fighting like animals over some made-up moonshine back when I was a kid. <laughs> Lucky it was, it was a roundabout location. I'm decently far from there. I figured it just pulled it from your IP address. But yeah. Uh... Silicon Valley, like Stardew Valley? Yes, we should make a spin-off of Stardew called Silicon. Silicon Valley. Sir, we had some actual values. State, skate, 8-bit consoles. When someone was a fraud, he would hit him in the head with a stick. Sir, it's really- we used to take curls on actual dates. <laughs> it's not the best time to praise the good old days. Now we're here, and you're no longer a kid with a stick. You must do something before anyone gets seriously hurt. If you can't beat him with- <laughs> People are mad, but they put their trust in It's beyond stupid. Even so, I refuse to blame the guys from Silicon Valley. They disrupt, get high, and create the future. That tiny misstep should not be taken seriously if you can't. <laughs> well, I will propose a bill to stop all U.S. companies from using crypto as a salary. Times are wicked and wild. People must feel a bit safer. Yeah, that's a good idea. With Silicon Valley, that would be... um. Silicon Valley is like where all the tech companies hang out, so uh, Apple, Tesla used to be over there. I think they've all moved to uh, Texas. Um, I think NVIDIA is based out of Silicon Valley. Uh, Google, all, all of these major corporations moved over there. And the idea was back then it was so that progress wouldn't be slowed down by having to send people back and forth to talk to each other. Because uh, back then, you actually had to send representatives in-house to show off products. Nowadays, you don't need that, so it's not necessarily required. But it used to be you would send, like, for example, somebody from Intel had this new processor they wanted to show off to Microsoft, so Microsoft could develop stuff for that processor in specific. And so they would go back and forth between each other's office, and it would only be like a 10-minute drive. Or a two-minute walk in some cases. It would just be down the, down, down the street. Um, nowadays, that's not necessarily required, but it used to be uh, why that happened anyway. Good call, sir. I, you should come pro that should come protesters down. I know. All right. We're going to make this work. We did good things. By the authority vested in me as president of the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America, it's hereby ordered... Uh, U.S. companies can no longer use cryptocurrencies for employee payments. It's the only acceptable currency is the U.S. dollar.
Uh, the establishment of American Ailment Prevention Council. What? Sure, let me look at that. <laughs> a brand new branch of the U.S. Health Department and Human Services is to be established. Their primary task would be to implement health crisis prevention programs, such as providing nutrition, distributing supplementation, or promoting healthy lifestyles, thus minimizing the societal costs of various pandemics. Sure. Required a new counteraction, did I? Cool. We're fine right now, I think. Wait, how do they see me? I just realized. For his term, I felt like every time I turned on the TV, there was some scandal and it's been making me paranoid. So far, this president is a nice change of pace. I just came back from a business trip to Europe. I was shocked to learn how famous and well-liked our president is there. Whatever he's doing seems to be working. Look, our military has always been the greatest in the world, but under his administration, it really seems like we could take on just about anyone. What a rush. They love me. They really love me. Okay. Um, it might not hurt to go ahead and hit our preach out goal now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, there we go. That's one of our promises fulfilled. That that will instill a lot of hope in the people. People were right to give you their support. Okay. Uh, that's good. That's really, really good, actually. Uh, it'll also boost our diplomacy points, which is also fine. Um, so now we just gotta keep working on upping our industry and our diplomacy. Why do I have one available token? Where did that go? It's here. Oh! Big stick! <laughs> okay, that's what we will use then. Uh, we now have our big stick policy. And it'll actually add to our society as well, which is nice. <laughs> Send diplomacy to prevent other countries to engage. Okay. Um. That's nice. I'm not gonna lie, that is really, really nice to have. Okay, so now we have nukes. Um... Okay, uh, so now we just gotta boost our other things. Domestic labor hypothetically could boost- yep, I was gonna say, that should boost our, uh, industry, which seems to be struggling right now. So, it wouldn't hurt for me to start funding this, maybe? Um, I'm just trying to look and see, is there anything in here that I need? Outside of this, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. We'll start looking into some of this soon-ish. I might start saving up my action points if I can. Kind of let things calm down a little bit, and then I'll just throw it all out at once. New world event. Ooh, okay. So we got, uh, Kyr Kyrgyz Kyr Kyrgyzstan. Yep. I definitely said that right. I got chair auditions tomorrow. Chair auditions. Um. Chair auditions. Are you trying out new chairs? Is taking obsidian from end pillars count as griefing? Um. I don't know. I do not know, to be honest, Jorby. Uh. I that would be a good question to ask in, like, uh, a ticket. And, um, if nobody else answers it by tonight, I will, I will answer it. But, um, I don't know, to be entirely honest right now. Uh, we've received an intel that a political prisoner from Kyrgyzstan is seeking refuge in the U.S. This is plus one action point, but it does drop our diplomacy, which isn't great. Uh, this one adds some diplomacy. 
But it does remove one energy point. There's a 50% chance for success on here. Uh, which would definitely be nice. Across the board, that would be really nice now I'm looking at it. And if I failed, like, I'd still have some espionage fundings, which would be good. So... The cost of action here, honestly, in my opinion... This is actually a win-win. And we won. <laughs> okay, another spectacular success. Great. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna let things keep going as they go. Open the door. Alright, we are finished. Ruined. Uh... Yes, and all this before 11 in the morning. Crisis chases crisis. Everything is falling into place. Only aliens are missing. Aliens, as it happens, they already... Your pretty long honeymoon in the Oval Office is over. The people are already bored. They strike, whine, protest, and plot against us. What happened? Where to start? With the bad news or the worst news? Start with the bad. Please, don't just laugh. This is serious, okay? Show me. Sticky people. <laughs> Mysterious people stick themselves to the exhibits with glue. No! No! Okay, everyone in band tries out for chair positions. It's by each instrument, so for trombones, it's like 12 of us, give or take. All of us go in a room alone and play for a judge. We play three scales, a prepared piece, and one slight, one sight red piece based on some rating skills. We are placed in positions from first to last. First is, sec uh, is section leader, and cool guy last sucks and will be humiliated. I am last currently. Okay. I think the fact that you would be on there at all is still just a cool thing. I mean, I know that might not be how everybody else looks at it, but to me, just being on the team in general is cool. Progress crisis scale 12. Oof. Okay. Why is this such a problem? Because they blame you and your disregard for ecology. Right? Now show me the worst one. Take a look at this one. It's tragic. You're probably exaggerating. Lake Michigan Naval Battle. Pe people be serious. This is dangerous. Where do you even get cannons from? That's a 17. What can I do with this? With this, nothing. The milk has been spilled. However, you can proceed to level the losses. How? Well, the crisis uh, that affected you do nothing... Do not affect you directly. That's ma They mainly tarnish your image. But that's all. If you improve your image, these little slip-ups and all sorts of problems will flow over you faster. Okay. You know, sometimes one good law can convince progressives or conservative crazies to join you. First of all, check what they expect from you. Sounds easy. Yeah, easy, huh? I hope so. I will take care of it. No worries. So we have two 7th graders. I'm projected to be 4th to last. So we have two 7th graders and one 8th grader who can't play music. I can play, I just can't for the life of me remember scales. I see. Um. Okay. So I would say, like, your big thing, just try to know life scales. Although, I guess if it's tomorrow, you really don't have any time to practice it today, do you? I was gonna say, you could try to know life scales, like, today and tomorrow, and... And just hope that you can remember when you wake up tomorrow. But, um, that's not gonna do you too much good, because it's already kind of late today, so I don't know if you have time to practice or not. Uh, good morning, sir. Can we talk for a moment? Sure, I hope nothing wrong happened. You look a bit off. Uh, no, it's nothing like that. Just a bit confused about something. Okay. It's about big stick policy program you want. What about it? Something you've invested a lot of personal time into, right? That is correct. And it's a crucial part of U.S. policy. Indeed it is. Does that mean there will be a nuclear war soon? What? No! Spend so much time talking about how we're ready to pulverize any threat. And we are. But that's just mostly posturing, you know, to gain political and diplomatic leverage. Oh, so that's all talk about nuclear arsenal is just so you can utilize it as an argument in some negotiations. I mean... It was more of a passive approach to put certain people in their place, but now that you mention it... Uh, why are you smiling, sir? Did you think of something nice? Nah, nothing you should concern yourself with now. If there's nothing else, scram. 
Okay. Uh, back to work. There's something somewhere, I don't know where, but here in Ethiopia. Extreme consolidation of wealth has created a new extremely inf influential class of all of, all of that one. <laughs> uh, sounds like a great opportunity. Okay, so... Sounds like a great opportunity for some economic cooperation between our nations. Uh, Ethiopia going distrustful. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for me. And the gains would be pretty nice. I mean, our economy is thriving right now. I think we're cooked. I know... You know what I mean? Let me look. We're cooked either way, is the truth. Um... Uh, again, midnight is the thing you gotta watch out for. Midnight, you'll get the 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 um Pacific Coast, which is what you're really gonna want to look out for. They're all projected around 11 p.m. EST. Uh, cause like Texas just got called, for example. Um, they have 40 electoral college votes, so it it shoots up things uh pretty quick. Pretty quick. Um, New York still hasn't been called yet. Um, DC hasn't been called yet, although I don't really know how many votes it gets. If I, I can't remember. But yeah, you'll have to wait till midnight before you really get any proper look at things, because California, you can pretty well guarantee what they're going to vote. Um, they are notoriously one party. <laughs> um, so, regardless of who you want to win, you do have to keep in mind there's a lot of states that still haven't pit, put one in, uh, put in their electoral votes yet. And uh, it's a race to 270. So, yeah, there's one person that's winning a bunch of smaller states. But that's typical. Um, that's that's typical, and it's not necessarily going. It, it every vote matters. I'm not trying to say it doesn't matter. However, uh, there's still a lot of votes that haven't been put into the count yet that also matter. Uh, you'll know more in about two hours. Um, okay. That one would be good. Because I do need more industry, and I can take the hit on economy, honestly. There we go. We, we were forced to rearrange our supply chains, though that came with the benefit of having to produce some of the previously outsourced goods locally. That was actually a pretty good trade-off, all things considered. We do need more industry, though, so I'm kind of... kind of tempted. Oh. I do have the power to nuke people, and that's really tempting. Um, but to start a trade agreement with some people here, that would be plus 40, plus... Or no, hang on. Sorry, I'm reading the wrong line. Okay. Plus 1, plus 2, plus 7. I think... Oh, plus 8 with Germany? We'll go with Germany, then. There we go. Okay. So my crisis is not great right now. However, it's not actually hurting me except in society, which isn't terrible. Okay, I need to figure out where... It's Christmas. There is a, um... An alert somewhere. Bermuda's down there. I didn't even see Bermuda. Um, question is where is? Okay, it'll it'll do a cross section when I go into world stage. And it's somewhere down here. It looks like. 
There it is. Supply and demand. Okay, the governing party of Fiji is doing its best to create a tax haven for U.S. companies. And as long as I get a cut, uh, I will not ignore such practices. They're not the first nor the last to do that. If I do that, it bumps up my um, politics, which is something I do need. Especially since we're in crisis right now. So let's go ahead and bump that up because our economy isn't taking any hits anywhere. So we'll go ahead and do that. Sacrifice some of the economy for the sake of winning. Okay. Projects. Uh, what can we do to boost our industry and society? Um, probably migration control, I would think. But it doesn't look like it. At least not immediately. Education, maybe. No. Society doesn't like that. Do they like anything I do? <laughs> I mean, they don't hate everything, at least. Negative 300 max. That would kill. That would so kill. Um, this one would be pretty decent, though. We might have to go with this one, because it has a plus 50 to random... to a random stat every turn, which is really, really good. This one also has some pretty good things. Okay. Let's go with, um... Internet Code of Conduct federal employees. I think that's in my best interest here anyway. Probably. Um, yeah. It's gonna hurt at first, but at the end of the day, it'll actually probably help me in the long run, so run with it, you know? Okay. Uh, how are we doing on our promises? So we got the rebound pro uh, diplomacy finished, which is good. Um, and we're still doing good on our sense of pride and accomplishment and no pushover. And uh, we just got to complete the quest for human mission to Mars part one. Um... Which does require us to invest in construct a reusable launch vehicle so that your spaceships can travel between Mars and Earth numerous times. So when I go into projects, we do need to look into um, if there's anything that we can fund for that in specific. Race to bottom policy. Um, okay. Energy. Nuclear future would be really handy, okay. We'll have to look into that one, maybe. Space Force could be good. I don't know if it would help me or not, but I think it could be good. Um, I'm not seeing anything in specific that I can fund, though, so I just gotta keep waiting it out, I guess. Okay.
Overall, I think we're winning pretty much. Ah, another world event. Okay. Where are we at up here? North Korea. Senseless massacre has taken place in North Korea. Okay. Just opportunity. Uh, to be entirely honest. Send the condolences, get the extra point. Because the rest of this, I mean... Yeah, I, I, I'd say just do that. There we go, I have an extra point now. Okay. We're doing good, we're winning, basically. As a National Space Council Chairman, I'm here to deliver good news, Mr. President. Uh, is it connected with our human mission to Mars? Exactly, NASA has just finished constructing a reusable space vehicle. Uh, I'm glad to hear it, so how will it work? Uh, there's a ma this is a massive milestone for space travel. It'll allow us to travel multiple times to our chosen orbit and beyond. Let's imagine space vehicles is just as available as airplanes. That's really exciting. Let's launch it now. When can we start a mission? There's a problem, sir. Each space flight has its launch period, and for Mars it occurs every 52 months and lasts for a few weeks. And the thing is that launch window is supposed to open very soon. Uh, that's good news, right? Well, not exactly. Our scientists have observed massive solar storms that might that will affect radiation on the Mars surface. This means the flight on the provided launch window will be hazardous for the crew due to ionizing radiation. What are the odds of them surviving? It's hard to predict, but I'd say the odds of them coming back and surviving are 1 in 25. That's not good enough. We can't do this. I think that was a good call, sir. How do you feel about informing the media about the reasons behind the failure? Mm, I don't want to fail. Mm. It would make me look weak if we did it. Unfortunately. I'm, I didn't know if I could walk it back. Dang it. That's dumb. Okay. Can I can I walk it back still then? Hang on. Give me a second. Load. Is that the one from today? It is. It is from today. It's from 20 minutes ago, though. If I were to save right now, it would save at the beginning of my turn, wouldn't it? Here, let me make a new save. Just call it E E E E, right? Okay, that's turn 12. So I'm gonna load turn 12 right now. And see what happens. We gotta try. We do have to try. Okay. I think it saved. Yeah, right then and there. Okay, so we gotta go back a couple of turns then. Dang it. Okay. Is it dumb? Yes. Yes, it is. It's very dumb. But, you know, they don't let you walk back things, so you have to do what you gotta do. Okay. Uh, technological... It's all the way back here. Okay, we're gonna speed run. I'll try to keep doing the same options that we already did, but um, uh, do you... okay. I'm not gonna take this this crap that they pulled on me. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm going to force them to do what I wanted them to do. Okay, we had an available token. It was in the uh, war expenditure. We can have big stick policy again. There we go. And then we put all the rest of our money into diplomatic presence to get our preach out policy. There you go. Um. Okay. I 
think that was everything we needed to do there. Okay. Alright, what we got going on? So, we got one in Belgium. There's a huge protest against the financial elites in Belgium. So, if we ignore it, we get action point. 50-50 here, we get some fundings added to our other things. Um, we do this one, it's a 50-50 from controlled enemy to repressed economy, or controlled in economy to free economy. Um... Let's try to support the working people and see what happens. Okay, we did it successfully. Yay! Okay. Uh, there was also one in Russia. Uh, forest fires have begun, have engulfed vast areas of Russia. Send help, sell help. I don't control the weather. It's not telling me what will happen. Okay. Um... We'll send help then. Okay. Okay, we're good there. It's about getting out. It's cool. I again. I I would try not to pay attention if I were you. You might just stress yourself out over it. Truth of the matter is, like, at this point, I think everybody's voted that can. Well, Pacific still has some people that can vote right now. It's six. I think polls in most places close at seven, if I'm not mistaken. Um. So. That's about the only thing, um... That's the only thing I would... ...say, like, th you know, there's no point in really con being too worried about it, though. Uh, this is all before 11 in the morning. Uh, yep, aliens, what happened? Okay, worst. Probably exaggerating, okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. 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 Yup. Yup. Okay. Good? Okay, same- same exact deal there. We're fine. Okay, yup. 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 Okay. American Children's Week. Reply, yes. Send me the documents. Starting today, we are entering into American Children's Week. I humbly ask all Americans to pay attention to the future of our nation and officials and to reevaluate related to evaluate related social and administrative issues from the state of education to children's families and yeah. Sure. Think of the children. President decided that the American Children's Week. Uh, we should all focus on both the needs of our future and the youngest generation. And you know what? I have two kids, boys. One is just five, and the other one is almost seven. Third. <laughs> How about you just, uh, you know, actually take care of your kid? Crazy, I know. Okay, what did I put money into after that? It was the internet code for conduct for federal employees. That's what I did. Okay. I have one more point than what I needed. Um, so I'm thinking we go ahead and put a point into the energy, maybe? Yeah. There we go. Okay, things are solid right now. And I think we're caught back up to the day that we left off on, so now we're fine. Okay, and uh, Lithuania, the ruling party is doing its best to put courts under their absolute control. The more of them, all the more reason to remain on friendly terms with them. Um, I'm not worried about that. Cannot turn a blind eye to such an expression of authoritarianism. Okay, I'll take the extra point. If I'm honest, that's all that matters. Okay, uh, mission to Mars, yep. Okay, uh, glad to hear how it works. Uh, when can we start a mission? Good news, 
Okay, what are the odds of them surviving? We don't have to take that risk. We can't quit at this point. Only that's reasonable, sir. You, uh, you are putting astronauts' lives on the line for what? Your image? Yes, that's what politics is about. You're right, I can't let them die. This is what politics is about. Okay. Oh, well, I, I wanted to read that. Okay, fine. <laughs> Be that way. Focusing on our efforts to bring on protecting the Arctic biomes. Uh, let me look at it. This is gonna hurt my economy. Uh, particularly global warming. Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna care about global warming. Why should I? Okay. Right. Uh, how do people think about me right now? Who? Our president? Which one is that again? All right, I almost forgot. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. I want to jinx it, but I think he's doing a fantastic job with our economy. Finally, someone who cares about the people. Cool. I think they pretty much like me. That's good. That's really, really good, actually. Um. <laughs> mm, okay. What we should probably do then, right now, is we need to up our politic points, because we're falling behind on that. So let's open up the projects menu and just see... This would be plus two to every stat, which would be pretty good. Plus 50 max to all stats. Um... Okay. Limit diplomatic t activity. My diplomatic activity is pretty good, all things considered. I just need to actually let it say, like, do what it's got to do. Um. Okay, I think about that one. Alternatively, we've got those two, which aren't great either. Um. Plus five to all stats. That one's not bad. Drop us 50, but it would still be a gain overall, I guess. You know, it would give us a little more extra military as well. That's every turn to all stats plus five. That would be good. Alternatively, we could do this one, which give us plus 10 points, which would then give us the expanded nuclear power grid, and modernize older nuclear, but that would be a negative 500 maximum uh, to society. However, if you could get to the nuclear future, you'd be fine. Um, I'll think about that one. Anything else I can do to up my politics? Not really. Okay. In that case, it's going to put five into this. Grab that. And then... I want to put some money into energy, I guess. And I think I want to go for the nuclear future. Because it gives us plus one max action points. Um, but it also, like... Allows us to go for all of the energy projects, I think, which is really good. I think. Plus, it gives us plus 500 max to the economy and to the society. So, it's in my best interest to put money into that anyway. Okay. 
Cabinet still like me? No, you don't. Okay. Um. Any of you had politics? You do. Okay. You had industry. Um. You had society. It's a pretty decent group all around. We really swung, didn't we? Jeez. That's pretty decent. I mean, our economy doesn't actually need me now. I'm thinking about it. It goes 89 plus every turn. Um, society is fine. Politics is fine. Industry is fine. Everything is actually kind of surprisingly going well right now. I say that tomorrow things are going to go badly. However, we are going to make it to Mars. Mr. President, I don't know if you're aware of it, but a bunch of people are waiting for you right now. Um, are you talking about my family? Why are they all here? Did they finally find out what happened to Grandma? Is this sign autographs or something? No, sir, quite the opposite. They're journalists. Journalists? A whole bunch of them just like... Yes, it's a press conference. Your press conference, Mr. President. Uh, I don't want to go. I want to stay here. You have to go right now. Okay. I'll go. I will go. Press conference. Yes, I press conference. Okay. Roll up my sleeves. Normally this is way earlier. I must have just avoided it somehow. I don't know how. Here we go. I am ready. Here we go. Right. Yep, you in the back. Uh, Mr. President, you made us wait here for two hours. Uh, I love them, but requires patience. Uh, political decisions affect your family. Uh, they're more than happy and very supportive. Uh, of course, I'm... That's completely, completely and utterly sober. Uh, media is on your side. Uh, yep. I'm a quick reader sometimes. I didn't really read too quickly on one of them, but four out of four questions isn't bad. I thought that was... <laughs> I thought that was the president of Russia for a second. Alexander Hamilton. It's an honor to meet you, sir. <laughs> Good morning, sir. I, when I say word enemies, does anyone come to mind? Of course. Perfect. Then we should talk about the possibilities that internal communication oversight program has presented with us. Oh, I'm all ears. Okay, so imagine the problem as a gun. Okay. Now, the CIA is the gun silencer, correct? I guess... And people that have wronged you and stood in our, your way are empty beer bottles and tin cans. Okay. And bits of private and or compromising information gathered are like individual bullets. Are you following me, sir? I guess. In other words, Mr. President, if you ever want to take out someone that's wronged you, just let me know, okay? I'm sure we'll figure out some evidence in time. CIA director out. Okay, thank you. What a nice guy. Okay. Put more money into the, um... The, uh, energy. I'm gonna put some right here into the Nuclear Energy Security Council. Which gives us plus 14 action points. Now. I need 15 total, I think, in order to get to there. Don't I? Um... But, I think I can survive one bad day and pick this up the next day, so I think I'm okay. Okay. Just need one more token. Can I get it from anywhere else? Can I steal it from like social welfare? I can. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Actually, I can't. Crap. 
I mean, it gave me back some of my points, I guess, which was nice, but my diplomacy is way low. Can I get that back anywhere else? Um... I might just have to wait on that to come back. That is what it is. How's our crisis is going, anyway? Uh, Sticky People is almost gone. Lake Michigan Naval Battle is also going away soon, so we're fine. Okay, diplomacy kind of dropped a little bit there, but it was for a good change. Oh, the world is waiting on me. Uh, Cameroon. Oh, no, the Republic of Congo. Cool. What you guys need? Can I help you? Is it... you guys? Well... There it goes. A uh, number of high-ranking officials in the Republic of Congo have revealed to be a part of the satanic cult. Disgusting, they're as good as dead to me. Um... Plus one action points and funding to espionage? That's actually pretty nice. Um, this... None of... This one has a chance to hurt me. This one... Doesn't. It doesn't really have any hurt to me necessarily, but this one, the action point is what I'm really wanting. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm not thriving as good as I was, but I'm about to be. Okay, what do you want? Uh, Attorney General, Mr. President, we have a, uh, an absurdly unprecedented situation none of us could have seen coming. You have my attention. Every event in our existence is unprecedented to some degree. That's the magic of life. You have my attention. Alexis, the most advanced artificial intelligence on the planet developed by Parelectronics, LTD, has gained self-awareness, and... Sir, she are... Oh. Oh. Um, that's weird, but should I be worried? We should be worried, sir. Alexis stole billions of photos and videos from millions of Americans. Oh. Okay. I don't want to know. People are outraged and rightfully so. Yes, we will make a speech. Ah. Uh, they've updated this since last time I played. There is no way this used to be a thing. Um. I'm going to start treating AI as we treat terrorist organizations. I'm proud to be involved in this. I'm proud to see myself. <laughs> I guess no one's happy about these happens, this making decisions and must learn their lesson. We'll never be safe, but we must think positive. Um, things like this can happen again, and they will. We should ban the most advanced AI from existence. We've seen things making... We've seen things many of us wouldn't believe. These images won't be lost like tears in the rain. It's not the time to die, it's time to be proud of the world. I want to full on ban. We're we're gonna sue. We're gonna sue. Yes. Okay. Got to hold people accountable. Sorry to bother you, but this new thing is already trending on Screecher. What is it? Uh, it's not living in the moment. Means, yes, sir. Not living in the moment means being stuck in the past. We don't want to do that. Nah. -uh. So tell me, what is it? Uh, should redheads be allowed to sing Christmas songs? Um... Hmm... Wait, sir, don't tell me this. Tell okay, tell people on Screecher, gotcha. Easy, easy. Redhead singing Christmas songs. I mean, we all know how I feel about redheads. Redheads are just like you and me, let them sing if you want them to. Christmas songs are the worst thing that happened to us just after redheads. There's no place in the U.S. for the soulless. Let's get rid of the redheads. Deep inside, we're all redheads. I mean, our blood is red, right? Let's do a funny one. Bruh. Just 
disability's not funny, Mr. Pretzel. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, what do you want? Uh, good morning, sir. At ease, what can I help you with? I'm gonna discuss the details of your nuclear plant modernization program, Mr. President. Okay. Why are you not Secretary of Energy? Uh, where do I start? Sir, do you know uh, why the old generations of nuclear reactors were so unstable? Uh, technological limitations. Well, the main reason was to make the reactor core more easily adaptable into a nuclear warhead, a factor especially important in the Cold War era. I see, that makes sense. So I'm here to decide what should be done about the old re reactors harvested from outdated nuclear plants. You could easily turn them into warheads. Okay. So I wanted to clarify with you, sir, as it's a highly politicized issue. We'll try to be discreet, but if the international community learns about the fact that we're suddenly making a large number of nuclear bombs, it might not be something you'd like to be associated with. I understand your concern, but our position is secure enough not to have to constantly look at other countries for validation. Go ahead. No point here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, I have a token available somewhere. And energy, there's our nuclear future. That is not going to hurt me one bit. And we just got an achievement. Okay. Um, so now... Hmm... Where do I want to put some money into? We've got through the war expenditure, military industry. Um, new map action military base. That would be good. It would also help our economy, which is struggling right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put five into that. And then boom. And... We gotta decide, do we want serve the nation, which generates 10 economy every turn for military bases, which would be good, or army for rent, which military bases now generate 10 military every turn. How's our military doing? Pretty good. Okay, how's our economy doing? Pretty good. Um, that would also give us plus 8, and that one would give us nothing. It would give us one max action point, actually. That's really good. Non-stop production. Easy choice. Okay. Action points are so handy. Um, I look at our world stage for a second. We need to up our politics a little bit. Which we can't do right now, but we will at some point. Okay. How are we doing right now? Uh, recently I lost my job and can't seem to find any alternatives because the economy's... Yeah, fair enough. Never thought I could hate someone I've even met. Never even met, but here we are. Just came back from business trip and... Okay, well, at least I'm popular still. Uh, people aren't a huge fan of the economy right now. I've shifted a little bit up to the north here. We're actually starting to line up pretty okay with fascism soon. Um... Which isn't great, but it's not terrible. How's our crisis doing? Sticky people will be done soon. Good, good. Okay. We just gotta complete Human Mission to Mars Part 2. So we gotta start getting things under control because it's not looking too good. And we're not doing terrible. Everything's almost to 500. Crisis. Uh, Ralphia is a new country. No one has heard of it, but acknowledging it became a thing amongst the heads of state. Okay. Good morning, sir. Welcome. I heard you have something important to discuss with me. Indeed, Mr. President, I was hoping you could ordain a presidential commission to investigate some problems in uh, threatening the future domestic U.S. market. Okay, go on. As you know, despite being the world's leading economic power, the U.S. is still facing several crises stemming primarily from globalization and rapid technology advancements, okay? It'd be naive to assume these problems will solve themselves, which is why I'd like you to put two, together two separate commissions to investigate and propose future action plans. Two commissions, what would their work entail? 
I'd like to first research the future of our industry and propose viable strategies to help us fight job outsourcing and tech transfer. The second should concentrate on the growing income and wealth disparity. Okay, continue. I believe that these would be the cornerstone issues threatening the sustainability of our economic system. I would argue that taking the first steps towards finding a solution might become one of the defining achievements of our presidency, even if resolving them would be impossible without decades of systemic change. Okay, what do you need from me? I'd like you to outline what we should do approaching these issues. What do you think? Okay, should we take a more hands-on approach to research what legislative solutions we could use to control the trajectory of our industrial industrial development? We need to include a private sector on in this debate, figure out the best way to incentivize businesses to remain in the U.S. Oh. 400 enterprise crisis scale. I mean, it's not hurting me, at least. Commission should be led by the person most experienced in the industry. We can look for such a person among the cabinet members. Sorry, find someone else. I need an industry people in my cabinet. It's a good pick. You have my blessing. Out of the way, do you have an opinion on the growing wealth gap in the U.S.? How do you think it should be addressed? For example, the wealthy European countries would consider the implementation of progressive economic reforms. We have to reignite the entrepreneurial spirit of the American people. Let's take steps to ensure that potential remains under. Let's go for that. Understood just like before. Okay. Very well. Have someone brief them on the situation. I think this is all I needed from you. Okay. Oh my gosh. Great news, sir. Your cabinet members have become overcharged because of the nuclear future, future program. Equipped with cutting edge nuclear batteries, they no longer need sleep, thus doubling their efficiency. Oh, okay. I figured you'd say that, but little do you know that your cabinet members are made of futuristic superconductive cardboard, 100% compatible with nuclear energy. Oh. Don't worry, sir. I've taken care of everything, so just enjoy your new cabinet 2.0. Whoop, whoop. Sometimes I feel like this place is just one elaborate joke. Strong words for a disembodied pair of hands. Oops, I've said too much. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Leave me alone. Oh, okay, never mind. You're cool. Uh, good morning, sir. Or should I say Americanator? Oh. Can you hear that? It's one of your new nicknames. Do you like it? Uh, I love it. Okay, people are calling me it. Cool. Let's keep them rolling program and some internet memes. I don't see the connection. Internet's been flooded by reports and images of military factories, which got people speculating. We're preparing for an upcoming robot rising. Then someone suggests that the U.S. that's going to be on the side of the robots. And a few logical leaps later, you got Mr. President and our leader becoming Americanator. Okay. I'll embrace it. Okay. Let me take care of this. Removing obstacles. Okay, reply. Send it on up. What we got? Uh, experimenting with stem cells as well as the research connected to that matter will no longer be regulated at the federal level. I advise all the state governments to let their scientists do things their way not to involve the law in the research process. Always leave it up to the states. Sure, why not? Okay. Recognition of a state. Is that hurting me? A little bit. A little bit. But we're okay. We're okay right now. What can we do about that? Um, well, we have a whole bunch of money now. We could always set up a base as well set up in uh, Saudi Arabia Canada um, Taiwan It'd be zero action points apparently and it would boost nothing absolutely nothing Okay, um, what if we conquered Canada? It would just hurt. Okay. In that case, let's just keep uh, innovate, inno innovating. Jeez, okay. So... Uh, 
Um, what do we got? Espionage. So you got that one. Generating 10 politics per military base. Let's go down to the bottom, the military base. Right, that's what we wanted. Instruments of war and uh, army for rent. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Rip my brother's team 5-0 right now. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. I take it there's not much of a chance for them to bounce back either. Yeesh. 5-0 is not great though, you're... Yeah, okay. Well... I just hope they're having fun at least then. You know, I, I know that's kind of the most basic thing to say at that point, but when you're at that that stage in the game, it's just like 10 minutes. Yeah, there's there's not much they could do then. Mr. President, get down. Americans started exasperating themselves on a massive scale, mostly because they can and partially because of boycott, copycatting their neighbors. Fair enough. Um, Mr. President, I'm afraid there's been a major leak. Oh, okay. What? No, I mean an information leak. It's no time to joke. Okay. Um, such a shame. Now where was I? Information leak. Uh, details of the Sol Instruments of War program can be found on their way to the public eye. That's a disaster. Can we find... Okay. Uh, who, who, who did this? Yet. Perhaps we... Okay... It'll obstruct the national investigation. I understand, sir. Okay, thank you. Presidential stuff is stressful. How bad is it? Uh, reload. Okay. It's very close. It is. Uh, what I'm gonna tell you guys, uh, and I've said it a couple times, and I'll say it again and again and again, everything can change tomorrow. Um, Right now, California isn't set to report their stuff for another hour and a half. California has, like, how many? How many seats? Like, a lot. It, it's a lot. I, I want to say it's 40. Um, so, you know, there's that. Um, Nevada is a key state. Huh. I never thought Missouri would go that way. Interesting. Uh, and a lot of states are only reporting a certain percentage of votes. Wyoming is doing 0% right now. Um, so, you know, they just called it, I guess. But, um, you know, they're still counting up stuff. There's still time for things to change. Don't stress out about it. Because at the end of the day... While it sucks because it does impact you guys, you don't have to live with the decision of having to make that decision, at least. Um, regardless of who you want to win or who you don't want to win, um, look to the future instead and go, you know, when I'm able to vote, I don't want to make that mistake. Or... Um, Start doing some research on how the processes work today and, you know, figure that stuff out. I'm looking at percentages. Percentage-wise, yeah, I mean, they're, they're close. See, th that's the thing. You have popular vote and then you have electoral vote. Um, electoral college is what you really should be looking at, though. Um, yeah, so Texas... They have 40 electoral votes, yes. But you also got to remember California is going to balance that out. So if you're looking at it from a point of it's, it's not close enough to your liking, unless I don't know California, which I, I do. I do know California. It'll be balanced out here in about an hour. An hour and a half. When can I vote? When I can vote, I will vote for Steve from Minecraft. Always vote in your primaries, guys. Always vote in your primaries. It's how you get away from this kind of garbage where it's like, 
I don't like any of the options. Both of them suck. And uh, if you vote in your primaries, you can tell your party that they suck at picking candidates. All right. Uh, Mental Health Awareness Week. Send it on up. Let me look at it. What do we got? Um, sure. <laughs> it's good for the policies. Okay. Hopefully that drains down the freedom and responsibility there, but I doubt it will. Um, okay. What can we do right now? This would be good. Young Parents Program. Um, that might actually be a really good one to pick up. It would kill my politics, though. That's the thing. And I, I'm, I'm losing it at a decent rate. Um... Okay. Is there anything I can do to boost that right now? Maybe, maybe not. That would give me plus 15 on activation, but it would give me a negative 150 max on all stats, which isn't great. Um... Okay, espionage, what do we got in terms of that? Not much. We can do at least, uh, army for rent. Go ahead and buy that. Okay. Uh, we'll boost the economy with this one, so we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah. That one gives us one more action point as well, maximum. So we'll go ahead and throw our other two here and buy that. Which will definitely help as well. Okay, how's our political compass looking now? Uh, my presidency. It's kind of moving back towards mainstream centrism. It'll move a lot in second term. Um, but right now it won't move too much, I guess. How's our cabinet looking? Um, not great. Who could boost my political points right now, if anyone? Um... I suppose what I should do then is put hmm. our industry is going to be booming. I kind of think I might swap out you for we'll swap you out for them and then I'll have a little extra economy as well which would be good all right thank you for the lurk I appreciate it good luck with practice okay Our president has given a speech. Has it struck a chord? The main portion of the president's speech was clearly meant as a warning, and it worked. Many of the foreign leaders, especially those associated with authoritarian regimes, per look particularly nervous. Is our president dreaming of a white phosphorus Christmas? Only time will tell. Though this show of strength has been very successful, the main portion of the president's speech was clearly meant as a warning, and it worked. Many of the foreign leaders, especially those... It took me a second to realize I was reading the same exact thing, and I was like, wait a minute, what? Uh, sir, I'm sorry, but could you stop whatever you're doing and listen to me? There has been a tragedy, and we don't know the details yet, but it's bad. 
It's really bad this time around, Chief. Okay, what happened? We believe there was a terrorist attack, sir. Domestic spearheaded by some loose cannon and absolute maniac. Dozens dead, body parts everywhere. It's like deja vu. Deja vu, what do you mean? Happened during Chevron Houston Marathon, and it's been splitting image of what happened in Boston during all those years ago. Okay, in Houston, my old school buddy said he was going to participate. I'm sorry, sorry to hear that, sir. Would you like us to call his family? Yes, wait a second. Wasn't the marathon supposed to take place tomorrow? I think I noticed. Uh, you caught me. I was trying to prank you, Mr. President. But you're sharp as always. Wait a second. Hmm. Good morning, sir. I'm not here to debate ethics. Okay, what? Uh, go ahead. I'd like to discuss the fact that we've been renting out our military forces, sir. Okay, what about it? Uh, by God, what a success money flowing in. We mostly shoot the same people we'd be shooting anyway, and the boys get some training in the meantime, but we get into a bit of a pickle. I want the... I don't want the specifics of your judgment, sir, so I'm going to... not going to name any names, but two warring factions within the same nation have requested our assistance. We need to figure out who we're helping. That sort of stuff is bound to keep happening, right? Do we just announce a bidding war and get them up and... and get them to round up their allies and pitch in? Um... See. Let's talk to the CIA. That's good for us all around there. I mean, look at that. Society is the only thing collapsing right now. And we can do with a little more societal collapse. Good morning, sir. Can I steal my time? Sure. Uh, Senator, decisions have created conflict, and I want you to. I, and I just want to know if I should look the other way. Okay, what? Um. I remember. Okay. Sounds like you're enjoying this. On since I love speaking to you, I hate seeing Chinese spy or even worse. Nosy journalists finding out about this and then highlighting our hypocrisy during some important negotiations. Okay. Either way, I'm curious if you'd like to modify our directives. No, we keep the progress program as it is. We're not their friends. They know the rules and so do I. Uh... Then it'd be a pain to exclude China from the program. They're a pain to deal with as is. How do you get your act together and make sure that they... <laughs> okay, um... Just make sure the, the state secrets aren't being leaked. Okay, your job depends on it. Dismissed. Go away, Alexander Hamilton. Alright. Okay. How are we doing on cabinet? Still good? I think so. I mean, yeah, we're fine. Okay. A military base would be so handy right now. However, we need to pick somebody who is considered an ally, I guess. So that gives us plus 10. And it doesn't hurt us at all, so we're going to put a military base there. And, um, put a military base on South Korea as well. There we go. We're no longer losing in this stage, which is good. Okay. Um... What do we want to do here? Let's come back down to the bottom. So we got army for rent, that's fine. Uh, espionage, right. Counterintelligence acquisition. That would be pretty good. That would also be pretty good. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Society is already struggling as it is. Okay, maybe I shouldn't put more money into that for now then. Um, domestic labor. That's going to hurt society as well. I'm just in trouble all around there. That would hurt my politics for a minute, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world.
Um... Okay. Plus 50% chance for negative one funding per turn. Okay. That would be good. Higher society. This, this whole line right here is where I need to go, basically. Um... I think that will work, yeah. Boom. So everything's a little bit higher on the maximum. And then we can go for this, which won't really hurt me at all in the long run. I gotta get more money. But we, we're doing okay, I think. I mean... We're kind of moving all over on the, the political compass, but it's fine. That was day 17. Hostages taken. Dang. Okay. Sir, do you have a moment? Uh, you look really pale. I have some troubling news. Are you familiar with the leading U.S. chemical company, Purity? Um, I'm sure I've heard about it before. What happened? Latest studies indicate that Creon, a fluor... Flu fluor... Fluoro product produced by Purity and used in most of the refrigerators in the U.S. can be very dangerous and in some cases lethal. Okay, has anyone died because of it? For now, we have two confirmed cases, two kids, five-year-old boys, and his three-year-old sister. They died after inhaling gas from a broken fridge, but if the research proves accurate, many fridges will have a similar problem. We're talking thousands of people dying each year. Uh, that's chilling. What options do we have? Uh... How? I assume there will be a separate investigation for this, but for now it looks like Purity altered their test results when trying to figure out... Or tr when trying to find out if Creon is harmless to humans, it means no... It's by no means harmless, it can kill within seconds. Okay. Tell me more about this company, let's see what we can do with them and how big they are. Purity is tremendous, we're talking 100,000 employees and $5 billion in their net income. So we find them the whole U.S. economy takes a hit. I can't risk that. We'll force them to pay the victims' families. But all this must stay quiet, at least for now. I don't care how big they are. They must be fined. A hundred million dollars sounds good to me. That'll help with my society points. We can take all the other hits. It'll actually help the economy, too, because the fine will go into other people's pockets. So we're actually fine. Uh, Purity one large. Yep, we're good. Public opinion should be shifting on me soon. Chief, it's bad, real bad. There's been a terrorist attack in the in Houston. It's like deja vu. Stop right there. I've heard this before. Not gonna fall for it that time. Wait a minute. Yesterday I was visited by the national security guy. Where is he? Informed that he took sick leave yesterday afternoon. He has to be pretty bad. He won't answer so now. I said, wait a minute. Get him here, sir. Why waste time doing that when there's it's important? Get him here. He spoke to me about the attack yesterday. Shall I proceed? Um, I, I'm... What's the plan? Okay. Um, simple find this... I want a report. Send me a report. Okay, um... Bad mood. I'll issue in a statement. Here we go. Speech always does pretty good. Alright. <laughs> Read only this, fellow bros. It was just a day, not much different from the rest. I think people... Yep. Uh, and at last I heard the news. Join me, please, in a moment of silence. This cultural appropriation. At last I heard the news. Uh, such a tragedy, pale and grim. Um, no, we're killed in this brutal incident. And let us pray that this is the last time we ever have to go through something like this. Let, let's go with that one. <laughs> In my mournful song. That should be good. That seems like a good show of strength. Alright, what do you want? That's a creepy smile. Thank you, sir. Do you remember the young parents? Yeah. 
It's been well received by the public. Okay. Are you serious? Um, they realized that even if it were our idea, it'd be poorly received if they attempted to fight it, so instead they like to cooperate and have very kindly requested to have one of our senators function at the project's council. It's how it's a chance to earn some favor with them, sir. Indeed, it wouldn't hurt to have some allies on the opposite side of the aisle. Uh, that's what we should do then. Bring back some of my political points. Okay. We are hurting pretty bad. Uh, let me take a look at the cabinet. How are we doing there? Okay, we need to probably swap out some people here. Industry is not hurting you whatsoever, so I'm gonna move you out. And then diplomacy is fine. Okay. Creon crisis will go away at least. That's not bad. Uh, checking out of us. Taking it's sweet time to go away. The Creon Crisis, that... Once that goes away, we're fine. We're fine. Law and Order is not great, though. Okay. Um... Let's put a base in Saudi Arabia, I guess. That would be good. Yeah. Okay. I'd kind of like to throw a conqueror into Russia. I'm not gonna lie, that would be really nice, but I don't have the ability to yet. If I nuked them, <laughs> what's the worst that could happen, you know? I think that's more of a second term sort of deal, though. Okay. Wanted to go for this one. Which will hopefully help balance out society. Um, and then no citizen left behind. If um, if society is less than a hundred, then plus thirty. If it's not less than a hundred, then you want then it'll do negative ten to your economy, which isn't great. Um, now over here. That wouldn't hurt to get. And this one wouldn't hurt to get. So I'll go ahead and grab this and this. Okay. There we go. So now we can work in the healthcare field, and I think that's everything we need to work in now. Well, I guess we got diplomatic presence as well. Which I gotta figure out how I want to work on. We're behind on some things here. Politics more so than anything else. Everything is slowly building back up, which is good. Okay. Ah, okay, what we got? Three world events. Uh, religion... okay. So that one gives us a new action point, plus 50 politics as well, which is good. Um, this one, if there's success, will give us plus one energy for the Enterprise, which would be good. It also give us some extra funding to some of our other things. If there's a failure... It turns them hostile, but I'll just go and invade them. So we'll just, um... Oh, okay, well that's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to invade them, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, one of our US surveillance uh, satellites has crashed in Dubai. Or, not Dubai. Uh, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that name, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we will take that back. Well, actually, no, we won't take it back. It's not ours. Um... Yeah. 
And then up here in... We already required... Okay. Accuse them of conspiring against the U.S. That would change us to distrustful. Give us some funding. Extra military power. Um... Let's attempt this. Success. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. What you want, sir? I'm here to help you. Uh, it's the 130th anniversary of the Daughters of the American Revolution existence. Uh, oh. Okay, when is it? Um... Okay. How important is the business meeting? It's just another meeting. The plan is to discuss the possible funding for the new factories. Mr. Henry Board wants to relocate them to Mexico, but tracking down his recent statements, uh, I, I feel he's almost convinced to start them in the USA. Uh, can you tell me more? <laughs> is there no way to attend both events? Yeah, so the fact that you have to decide whether you want to accept the invitation or the anniversary or decline. For the anniversary to decline and go to the previously scheduled business meeting, there's no way you can attend both. Okay, business seems like a more important thing. Nevertheless, we have decided how to handle the process of turning down the invitation. Any ideas? Just tell them that I'm busy running the country. I'm not buckle. <laughs> okay. I have an idea. I'll donate some money to the organization to ease tensions. There we go. Thank you. I just gotta get back up to 500. We're almost balanced. We're almost there. Uh, Mr. President, I'm afraid that finding purity wasn't enough to stop their malicious actions. What do you mean? It was a $100, $100 million fine. It's peanuts to them. Purity makes billions. What do you suggest to be done? Stop this toxic Creon thing. I'm aware of that, but I can't just put their CEO and entire board in jail for mass murder. Purity is too big to fail. Okay, what do you suggest? Got acid reflux, not feeling great. Oof. Sorry to hear that, Ant. Hope you feel better soon. Be sure to be drinking some water. You know, I'll, you, you already know how to take care of yourself, but... Um... You know, woman. It is a woman. It is indeed a woman. I want to know. Uh, I can see only one option. A bill that will ban all the toxic substances that are destroying the environment and making us ill. The economy will surely suffer, but as a society... The whole won't. Okay, let's work on that bill. Economy, politics. These ideas are more important than life itself. Didn't you read Plato? <laughs> Alright, um... Yep, let's work on that bill. My economy will bounce back, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're good. We're actually not too bad. Act text. I hereby proclaim that after creating a list of dangerous, hazardous, or toxic substances, Attachment 1, thanks to close cooperation with the Environmental Protection Agency, we managed to specify... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, what do you want? How are you today, sir? I've come to... Okay. 15. CIA couldn't interpret and intercept the terrorists because they were focusing on monitoring the black backlash of your words. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So you hear that, sir? Tell me at least you found the advisor. This person in charge of finding him and get back to you ASAP. I'll be waiting. I know he's the leak, and you just won't let me get him. Ah, uh, education. I have not been paying attention to you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, first of all, it's a great success, and we were flooded with an astounding number of applicants from all over the U.S. Turnup has also exceeded expectations. Our citizens are starved for culture. But where's the catch? I don't know if that's necessarily bad, but uh, most popular subsidized events are religious, mega churches, seminars, fairs, anything you can imagine. Religious organizations already enjoy their tax exemptions, and I wanted to know if it would be better if we prioritize non-religious applicants. After all, we cannot provide funding for everybody. Um, how about instead we promote science-oriented events or religious or cultural ones? That would show precisely where our priorities are. That's a good point. They have it easy already. You can't just target people. That's the problem. You're wanting to target people. You, that, that doesn't work. You 
can't pick people based on what they believe or what they think. Uh, the law established transparency. Uh, let me look at it. Uh, the producers of widely distributed consumable goods are required to publicize a report detailing the impact. Uh, sure. That sounds like something that should happen, maybe. Ah, I'm moving even far, <laughs> even farther right. This is not intended, really. I'm just, I'm just kind of trolling the game at this point. But it's working, I suppose. We're, <laughs> we're gonna make it to fascism before I know it, I think. Uh, which has happened before, and it'll happen again, I guess. Um, speaking of hydrate, ooh. Um, I got like a drop of water in here. I'll go get some water soon. There's about to be an ad in like three minutes, and I'll 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 go grab some more water then, and I'll I'll do a full hydrate then. Um. Okay. Let's see. We're working on getting to Mars. Everything else is, like, still doing just fine. So let's go and put some money to, uh... To figure out where we're going, I guess. That would help our economy, and that would be really, really good. Um... Oh no. That would also be good. Those two. Um, how good is our diplomacy? It's it's fine. We're actually doing good. Okay. So we'll go ahead and accept this. And then we'll do this. Okay. Um, that's good for the projects there. Domestic labor. That would boost our industry and our economy, which would be good. Um, okay. Could go this way with things. Um... That wouldn't kill things necessarily. I mean, society wouldn't have a huge cap, which would be the big worry, I guess. I've got to start working on fixing some of that. Gonna invest some uh, serious cash in it here. There we go. Also, how are we looking? Oh, we moved a little more left. We're going toward, to, towards totalitarianism. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go grab some water since ads are about to play, but when I come back, uh, I'll do a little bit more drinking water. Drinking water. And um, we'll get back to the game and we'll see where we're at. I'll see you guys here in about three minutes.
I'm back. I know some of you might be in ads right now, but I'm going to go ahead and just get stuff going again, because... I'm, I'm going to try to get through... I, I don't think we're going to be able to get through more than one playthrough today. I'm, I'm playing slow. I, I didn't realize just how slow I'm playing, but I'm, I'm being slow. Uh, but here's your hydrate, Anthony. Okay. Scoop my chair up a little bit. Let's, uh, let's see. That's the end of this day. Things should be getting a little bit better now. Um. Yeah, I mean. Industry is maxed out right now. Everything's actually in the green. We're doing okay. Uh, I'm here to tell you the launch window for the mission to Mars is coming soon. We need to make final preparations. Uh, how is the crew? Are they ready? Their morale is not high, if I may say so, but the more important thing is that the solar system storm has complicated things. Yet since you, sir, ordered the mission to continue, scientists have doubled their efforts to come up with something that could possibly minimize the risk of ionizing radiation. I see. I have made efforts to keep the high-tech industry going, so I guess it worked. It actually worked. Scientists are already have a, are scientists have already been working on this new idea of combining a magnetic field with a electrostatic field to protect the crew from most of the radiation. Uh, so have their chances of survival just increased? That's my president. Yo, Oswald, how's it going? How's it going, dude? Good to see ya. Uh, the crew's morale is quite high. They were really afraid, but now they were all they they were all prepared for the flight. Okay, can you tell me more about the crew? We're going to Mars, boys. We're going to Mars. Four crew members, one woman, and three men. They have been selected due to their outstanding abilities, psychological test outcomes, and also because of their mar marital status. Okay, I see these are brave people, and I hope they will succeed in this great mission. <laughs> that sounds about right. Well, let me get back to my duties, Mr. President. <laughs> I don't know why their marital status mattered but okay um let me get back to my duties i'll make sure everything goes according to plan and uh okay cool i can't wait we fulfilled a promise finally first president in history to fulfill a promise guys i'm doing well how are you i'm well i'm well uh today's been a busy day for me i woke up uh i think today was the final day at least for me on my window that they were doing work on the house and so I heard I woke up like at like way earlier than what I wanted to be awake like four hours of sleep kind of early uh, and I heard them like you know knocking pieces of wood into the house and stuff so it was loud and I woke up I didn't want to be awake uh, my mom came into my room and she's like hey we need to go vote do you want to come with us and go to vote and I'm like I don't really want to, but I know I should, so I, I went and voted. Um, and then... Uh, I got some work done. I did get some work done. I, I've been working on that slideshow, and I, I've almost finished it. I just have to double check that uh, the person that was paying me to do this spelled her son's name right because I've not been able to find any record of this person's name ever existing in this spelling anywhere. And um, I just need to double check. <laughs> uh, also, thank you for submitting your taxes. I appreciate it. Uh, get more sleep. Easy. Go to bed right now. Well, if I went to bed right now, then I'd wake up early, and I don't want to be up early. I only... Slideshow, you doing people's homework now? <laughs> I'd be really good at doing people's homework so long as it wasn't math. Um, but no, there's this old lady at my church, and she wanted to get her son uh, a slide choke for Christmas, which I, I don't know if her son really wanted that, but um, I don't... That's not my job to worry about, I guess. So I had to scan in all the pictures, because they were all physical. Um... But uh, that was fun. Scanned them all in. And I let them sit for about a week. And I was like, you know, I probably should get this done now so I can get it off my mind. And so it's almost done. It's almost done. Five minutes worth of song with like 69 pictures. Oh, cool. A slideshow for Christmas. Yeah. 
Now, I, I, I'm assuming their son is just, like, that old, where it's just, like, they can't buy him anything that he had actually want. But, um, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I never met the guy. I'm just getting paid. <laughs> I, I'd take the job, and I don't, I don't complain, I suppose. Okay, we made it. We made it to Mars. We're set. But yeah, I'm never taking another slideshow ever again. Dude, I... They also want it on a disc. So tomorrow I'm going shopping with my mom. And I guess I'm gonna buy a disc that I can burn it to. Um, tomorrow. And, uh... We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> money is money. Exactly, exactly. $20 is $20. That's one thing, um, one thing that this woman didn't want to confirm with me. She, she told me to name my price, and I'm like, well, it depends on what you're wanting. And she's like, well, I don't, I don't really know what I want. I just want a slideshow. I'm like, well, how about when you see it, you tell me how much you think it's worth. I didn't like that idea. She offered to do half up front, but she still wouldn't tell me how much she wanted to pay me, and I, I don't want to take advantage of this old lady. Um... So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Because I think she thinks it's a lot more work than it actually is. Like, it's taken me maybe, like, two hours so far uh, of constant work. I, I haven't actually been, like, sitting there and doing it constantly. I've been doing it in 10-minute, 30-minute spurts and just being on my phone during that time. So it's not like I'm doing anything intense. So... Fifty dollars. I, I would take fifty in a heartbeat. Um, that's definitely cheap. But I'll also just go. You know, I'm not gonna do that again. Now, if she tries to hand me any more than that, I might still take it. But I don't think I take more than a hundred. It's not like I'm doing a fancy slideshow or anything. Uh, twenty dollars. That 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 was just me being silly. I don't know how much she's gonna pay. We'll see. I love CDs. I like the idea of CDs. Um, I've never burned anything to a CD before. I'm. It, it looks easy. I, I've looked up a couple of tutorials. So I, I can't imagine it being that difficult. Oh, National Security. Thank you. Bring him on in. Uh, he's not here. Oh, he's dead. Uh, he had a family, right? Indeed, okay. Conduct a real investigation. Alright. Uh, it's kind of easy for music anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've I, done... See, I've helped my brother, because he, he has a Plex server. And, um... So what he does is he'll take, like, a... A burner, and he had two at one going at one point, and then he would put his like DVDs in there, and he runs it through a certain program. You have to keep the DVD still because that's your license. So if you don't have that, then you can't really legally download it and back it up. But laws say if you have the DVD, you can. So he's been doing that slowly but surely, and I've helped him a little bit with it, um, but I've never done it myself anyway. He showed me the process. I just. I haven't done it in like a year. Uh, but everything we could, there's nothing that you'd be interested in. You know what? The entire situation makes me question your competence. So how about you bring me someone in here that can help me? I'm uncovering some corruption, guys. I was born in the USA. What? <laughs> I heard you called. Why? I'm the cook, can't you tell? I got a bony tail. Okay. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it, Oswald. Uh, oh, four. Jeez. I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a good night. Get some rest. Catch you another time. It's good seeing you, by the way. Sick joke? No, I assure you. It's not. I'm the closest thing to God you'll ever meet here, and I can prove it. What? Come on, make a wish. Do you want to be loved by your people and respected by other countries, or do you desire more power? It can't hurt to be more loved. Respect is everything. Power. It can't hurt to be more loved. It's done. Oh. Who are you? 
<laughs> what does that have to do with all this mess? I'm an avatar for the writers, that's all I can tell you. As for this mess, well, that's what happens when everyone's on a tight schedule, you know. People need to remember what day it is and make mistakes when writing scripts. Sorry, it costs one of your advisors his life. The game is getting self-aware, what? <laughs> Is that like the developers just like giving you the middle finger saying, yeah, we got lazy, we stopped writing for the game, and uh, you guys pushed us to that point? I don't know. I really don't know. Good morning, Mr. President. We've just received the first bit of international hate mail. Oh? Would it worry too much, sir? That's honestly to be expected after we decided to suspend mutual assistant pacts. Okay, well, who's it from, though? President of Montia. Uh, okay. Cool, cool. Uh, of course you do, sir. I mentioned, the letter I mentioned contains phrases like indignant and disconcerted. So pompous that it, if it wasn't signed, I'd assume the author was British. Can I write a reply explaining our reasoning? Yes, that'd be a courteous thing to do. No, it's not worth your time. I'll screech at him personally. Uh, yeah, I go ahead and write back. I'm doing pretty good uh, across the board on policies, so I shouldn't ruin it. Ah! Okay, we've discussed it so many times. It's true, I assume you know you're no longer using the same password for everything? Of course not. Who are you taking for? I was just about to change it. It's not taking the matter seriously? Okay, what story? Um... Okay, I think I see where this is going. Hmm, sounds like our project was a success. So now what? Uh, will you favor? <laughs> okay, I will. I will change them. I will. I will change them. Okay, is that everybody? Good. American Education Week. Send it on up. What is it? Uh, for the sake of society, I should probably sign this in and make it look like I'm doing stuff. Yeah! <laughs> we don't have anything for law and order, unfortunately. Um, can we put more into that, then? Um, probably not. That's okay. Um, this is actually a really good path there. We should take that. Accept. And accept. Okay. That is actually so helpful. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. And then all that's left is domestic labor and domestic intelligence. Which we're not doing too bad on. Oh, and I guess espionage, but who cared about espionage anyway? I put any more military bases around for zero points. That'd be allied with them. Am I not allied with some of you guys? Okay, I, I'm not. I'm just open with most of you. I need to fix that. We've gotta get more allies. Okay. We'll start working on uh, that stuff next time around, I guess. Look at that. That is absolute beauty. Promise one fulfilled. Promise two fulfilled. It's time for re-election, isn't it? Good morning, Mr. President. Did you call me? Yes. What happened? What happened? What do you mean, sir? My phone is being bombarded with notifications of uh, social media. If it's another scandal. Oh, that. I wouldn't worry about it. Primaries are around the corner. Okay. Every major player understands that winning is impossible without undermining you first. Not to mention the number of clicks that media generates by antagonizing you, so it's only natural your feed is blowing up with accusatory screeches. Okay, should I just ignore it? It's one option, but at the same time, please remember it's a form of power struggle. Okay, so do you just want me to write screeches? Okay. 
Okay. Sure. In case you've been living under a rock, uh, the president made it, kept his promise, and the first manned mission to Mars has been declared a success. Do you want... I, I will reply, yes. Okay, we need to put a stop to the president's reckless agenda. Remember, no pushover is embarrassing. Reply. Uh, read here, broker promises since pride and couple. Okay, reply. <laughs> Former VP, rebound of diplomacy is a great example of playing fast. Okay, yep. Okay, that was fine. I feel like we got some pretty good wins there. Took a massive W. Jeez, can you guys leave me alone? <laughs> I have a strange. Okay. Expected it. It's about the UFO, right? No, gummy bears. Oh, gummy bears. Dude, been in meds that took look and taste like sugar free gummy bears. Ah, those. But that was one of the best ideas I've ever had. They were supposed to be a smashing hit. They are, sir. I think that might be the problem. You see, some patients, especially seniors, consume more gummy bears than prescribed. That's. Oh, I see. Um. How about we add tiny amounts of laxatives to every gummy bear? That'll teach you not to eat too many, just like with real sugar-free gummy bears. Uh, no need to do anything. This is a free country. Uh, add some laxatives or something. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Morning, sir. How are you doing today? Uh, great. Thank you. Okay, what is it? Health monitoring chips we've been implanting. I'm very interested in the futuristic technology, so I study the chips. Okay, I'm listening. Please, the chips monitor the population room for its public security. It could prevent many crimes and save tons of information, ton tons of money on information gathering. Okay, but legislation clearly states that the chips cannot be used for tracking purposes. Indeed, but they do not contain any mechanism that could be used to emit any signal. But that wouldn't be necessary for what I have in mind. Okay. It contains certain chemicals in the patient's blood. During a checkup, a doctor can see how many markers have been altered and thus get a good idea about the patient's conditions. What if we expand the number of markers in every chip so that we could also keep track of various other compounds? Like what? Illicit substances, for example, are rare compounds, commonly used in explosives. Of course, it wouldn't eliminate the need for investigations, but it'd make life much simpler for ATF. Okay. There's a lot of money to be saved here. You can proceed, just make sure to keep it a secret. I think we should just limit ourselves to explosives. The jails are already full of drug users. I still dislike this idea. Why not? Uh, this is not why we introduced the chip. Um, there's a lot of money to be made. Go ahead. Keep it secret. Okay. Stop making gummy bears awful. I know it's your fault. I just know. When I was eating my tasty and healthy gummy bears, one in, in the morning, two after dinner, five in the evening. Oh, no. Okay. You know, that's fine. It's okay. Everybody around me seems to be okay. We're good. Um, let's go and throw some more money in the ring here. There we go. Um, got two more points here. What what can I do with that? Not really much of anything, to be honest. So what I'll do is I'll do something. <laughs> I'll do something dumb, probably. It's time for re-election soon, so I gotta be careful. Let's go to the world map. And let's do some diplomatic relations with, like, uh, well. Let's investigate, like, Mexico. And let's investigate, um. Let's investigate, like, the Netherlands. <laughs> Okay. 
And uh, where are we at on the about me right now? They just don't. They just don't like me all of a sudden. I don't know why. I've been very good to them. Okay. We seem to be winning. We got a pretty, pretty nasty hostage situation, but you know that's fine. Okay. We did all of our quests. All of our promises. Let's continue on then. I think it's time for re-election. Okay. Uh, politics could definitely be better, but everything else is fine. Okay, chili. Uh, extreme consolidation of wealth, okay. Um, let's boost our economy, hopefully. Yeah. And then over in Finland, it's a huge protest. Um, okay. The extra funding when it hurts. Let's, um,. Oh, right. I, yeah, let's try that. Okay. There we go. Alright, what do you want? Good morning, Mr. President. I have a formal invitation for you, sir. Is it already that time? Yes, the Speaker of the House just signed it, so the message says I invite you to deliver your State of the Union address before the joint session of Congress. Okay. What do I have to do? Let's take one thing at a time. Firstly, you have to... She's a designated survivor. This is just tradition. Okay. I'm gonna lose political points over it, but it's fine. Uh, Secretary of Homeland Security and Secretary of Energy. Alright. Uh, Homeland Security, it's essential that to be aware of the, my army's needs. Um, energy. Now let's do security. I've gotten that over with. You should consider your guest list. Who would you like to invite? We have some places in the box next to the first lady. I don't know, some firefighter. <laughs> it's crazy. That would be crazy. Uh, let's invite a firefighter. Well, it will not be spectacular, but at least there's something. Okay, is there anything more? One thing to do, write speech. Uh, this is something I should take care of personally. Alright, let's write a speech. And I didn't lose, that's for sure. As we gather tonight, our nation is at war. Our, our nation is not at war. <laughs> our economy is in recession and... Okay. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Vice President, members of Congress, distinguished guests, fellow citizens, tonight I stand before you to share the great news. Uh, jobs are booming, incomes are soaring, poverty is plummeting, crime is falling, confidence is surging, and our country is thriving and highly respected again. I like that for the third one more. The United States of America right now has the strongest, most durable economy in the world. We're in the middle of the most, uh, in the middle of the longest streak of private sector job creation in history. Our auto industry has just had the best year ever and we should continue to pursue. I do kind of want to boost politics if we can. Kind of keeping an eye on that stuff. However, it doesn't, that one might, okay. Our spirit is still young, the sun is still rising, God's grace is still shining, and my fellow Americans, the best is yet to come. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you very much. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I have a bit of an odd question. Broadly speaking, would you consider happiness a good indicator of health? Uh, of course. AI diagnostic software we've launched would agree with you here, sir, and that's relevant because while well, the program came up with a questionnaire to determine the overall patient's well-being and used the data while suggesting diagnostics, the answers are cataloged and summed up, making them easy to browse. Yesterday, however, I noticed something strange. What's that? 
program can conclude that the patient's happiness is affected by certain world events and readjust the happiness rating for all patients in real time. I think it is some sort of variable based in the average happiness score submitted by patients. So it also predicts how happy our citizens are with the world then. Okay. You might be right. It, I wouldn't want some heartless program to analyze my psyche. Please say that feature. It still sounds an incredibly valuable piece of data. Thank you. Anything else? No? Good. Okay. Got a little bit of extra money to throw around. Let's throw some money into domestic labor then. Throw some in there. Kind of debating doing the race to the bottom policy. <laughs> Um, increase minimum salary. You could do the bottom here. All of those are actually pretty good. I am back, yo. Welcome back, Gus. Yeah, let's just throw a whole bunch of money at things, because I have it. I'm basically guaranteed the re-election at this point. It's just the icing at the cake at this point. Okay. Uh... Yeah! I think I'm gonna win. I mean, I... My industry is booming, my military is booming, my diplomacy is booming, society is thriving. My economy looks pretty nice. Huh, okay. Who died? Oh. One of their priests committed many crimes, okay. Um... Let's, uh... Hmm. Let's not talk about it, because I can get the extra, uh, point. <laughs> and then I can nuke France. I mean... Is this a good way to end my, my first term as president? No. Well, I've had nukes all game, and I haven't used it. So, I mean... You know... Why not? Um... Okay, it's, it's a little bit bugged right now, but we just, we're gonna nuke France. That's what we're gonna do. And then, uh... How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I've, I've been enjoying myself, you know? Uh, casually committing some atrocities. Kind of debating conquering Germany as well. Uh... Okay, we gotta wait till second term. I don't have to worry about re-election. That's when we'll invade Europe. Mr. President, are you ready? Oh, is it time for re-election? Oh, an interview. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, uh yep. I'm ready. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh. Uh. Good, so what do I need to know? Uh, the interview will be on, uh, Echo News Network. Uh, it'll be about how I've affected the economy and the industry. Okay, well, my economy and industry is booming. I'm fine. I, I can do my, I can do a really killer impression right now to, that I think would really help sell my industry and, uh, economy. I've handpicked the questions to make sure they provide you with an opportunity to brag a little. After all, many Americans rely on broadcasts. Okay, that's a relief. Uh, okay. Um... I'm good, I'm good. Alright, 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 alright. Got this. You guys are about to see how a real interview is done. Alright. Journalist. Good morning, Mr. President. Thank you for tiny the time to talk with me. You're very welcome. 
Let's get the ball rolling. Are you ready? In five, four, three, two, smile. Uh, first, I'd like to ask you, who was the driving force behind this administration's economic reforms? U.S. Cabinet's contribution to the economy, bad. My contribution to the economy, good. Okay, so he's giving me a little notepad here. I'm ready. Uh, it was all thanks to my personal involvement in the ma matter. Uh, that's all. Yep. Uh, are you happy with the stability of our system? Well, the U.S. Uh, economy... Wait, hang on. U.S. economy experience. The industry did not. I I know it didn't. I don't care about your little advice. Our economy will d remain dominant thanks to effective investments and our global influence. I know my industry didn't ever fail. Gosh, I, I would know. It was my baby. Uh, the future of the U.S. industry depends on... Uh, Innovation. Yep, that's all. Okay. Speaking of industry, how do we know we're heading in the right direction? Uh, just trust me. Just trust me. Just trust me, bro. That's the source. That's the source. Just trust me. <laughs> I've heard it described as exceedingly advanced by some and highly diversified by others for our investment strategy. Uh, and how does our involvement in foreign affairs play any role in that? Certainly the effect has it had on our industry and economy is indispensable for our agenda. I've been a very good president. Look at this. Look at this. Lastly, is there any influences your priorities in decision making? I'd say consistency, though harmony could be just as important. We are, we are killing it. That was, uh, yeah, I had fun actually. That was, uh, uh without, uh, out of, with that all out of our way, wow, words are hard. I guess I should be going. Uh, it was a pleasure working with you. Take care. All right. I just secured re-election single-handedly. The black wave is coming soon. Uh, the law removing regulations. Uh, let me look at that. What is this? Okay. To make the U.S. political class younger, more diverse, and forward-thinking, I urge the lawmakers to loosen constitutional requirements to hold federal office in the United States. Yeah, sure, that works. <laughs> uh, everybody will just believe me that that was a good idea. Okay, we're gonna throw a couple more bucks at this. Because everybody's gonna love it. I love it. They love it too. Um, we got one more point. Throw it into energy. Our energy is off the charts. Okay, right, look at this. Look at this. We're almost maxed out on all of these. I mean... Seriously, we might, we might win with all of them full. Okay, what happened? Iraq. Ah. Up against the wall. Some survivors of a political coup in Iraq uh, are hoping that we will allow them to set a government in exile there. Everything for freedom and justice. Pretend to agree but intercept and turn them over. It'll turn them from hostile to hostile. But it'll give me full uh, diplomacy, so I'll take it. Is that, Am I actually maxed out right now? Yeah, I am. I need to fix that. Okay. Did I not nuke France? I thought I nuked them, okay? Can I seriously not nuke you guys? Mm. Okay, it's not letting me nuke them. So, <sighs> just keep saying, oh, click to open nuking menu. Do I need to restart the game, maybe? I really want to nuke France before my second term just to see what people say. 
That's probably none of my business, but we have to talk about your marital problems. Oh, what? My marital problems? Uh... <laughs> my marriage is doing great, and this whole country is doing great. We're all as happy as a preacher on Sunday. Are you sure about that, Mr. President? Maybe you should take a look at this article. Do you believe in some random article now what the president tells you that's sad? Let me take a look. President's wife wants a divorce. Our source claims that the U.S. president and his wife, Sarah, sleep in separate bedrooms and barely talk to each other lately. President is too busy to remember that he's a married man. That's not true. Who told them that? How did they find out? No idea, but it's too late uh, for some sort of investigation. We need to react. Okay. How? Getting rid of all the independent media? That's a horrible idea. You know, I don't have time to save my marriage. Both of you clearly need some couples therapy. I okay, okay, okay. I try doing l literally anything else to see to them and see if that works. It's possible you're clicking the wrong button as well. Maybe. President tries to save his marriage. Okay. Good morning, sir. Can I have a moment of your time? Okay. What do you need? It's about the parental leave program you've launched, sir. Because of it, we've. I've been under a lot of pressure from the administrator of the Small Business Administration. Previously, companies employed under 50 workers were not required to compensate their employees when they were on parental leave, and supposedly this change puts a significant strain on small business. Okay. I'd like to know if I should, if we should make concessions in this regard. For example, should paternity leave work the same as maternity leave? Men deserve the same rights as women. I see. How about this? We should lower the pensions for new parents. A poll shows that 86% of men would refuse to go on paternity leave unless paid at least 100% of their original salary. Okay, that's clever. Reduce the pay to 65% of their salary. It's just a dirty move. Equal parental rights are self-explanatory. Tell the administrator of the Small Business Administration to deal with it. There's a reason my policy is popular. It's because it's not easy. But my economy is still doing good, so you'll be fine. You are tall. Uh, did you have a chance to look at the report I sent you yesterday? What report? It's a large yellow folder containing results. Oh. Um. You yeah, are kidding me? <laughs> I, yeah, I carried it just in case to block a bullet. Uh, sir, my entire office has been working on this report nonstop for weeks. I promise you that's worth your time. How so? So the minimum salary, salary is dynamically calculated using a predetermined formula. It stabilized our expenditure to allow us to make accurate predictions regarding the future of the U.S. economy, both on a macro and micro scale. Mr. President, imagine the amazement on the faces of Americans once they see the accuracy of your judgment. You're really doing everything this out. Okay, I'll read it. This is going to be a long night. Look, I have a family as well. I can't just spend all my days working here. Just give me some key points. It's going to be a long night. I need the extra political points. Okay, I'll, I read it, John. It's what I do. I read John. <laughs> His name's not John, it's Edward. Try doing literally anything else. Okay, let's let's see. Um, yeah, there's no cancel there. I can investigate them. Okay. He just won't let me nuke them. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Have, I don't have time to mess with it right now. Okay. Uh. I have to restart. Then yeah, it's whatever. It'll be okay. Okay. Espionage. Um. We'll do digging up dirt then. Accept that. 
And uh, we should have all of our projects funded now. Besides domestic intelligence, which I'm really just not a huge fan of anything on here, to be honest. So I'll go ahead and just throw a little bit of money in each of these pockets and it should be okay. One thing we could do, I suppose. You are an authoritarian regime. Okay, Venezuela. Allow me to... Um, allow me to come conquer you. Really quick. Did I just... Okay. I thought I nuked them for a second. I was like, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Okay, uh, Cuba, you're mine. I can't say you because I, I know myself, my pronunciations are not great. Um, and you know what? Okay, maybe not invading Russia. Maybe that's not a great idea. Uh, but you know what? Uh, Guinea, you're mine. We are stopping the authoritarian regime single-handedly the greatest move anyone could ever make. Apparently Saudi Arabia hates me. Or no, they don't hate me. We could kill everybody that hates me though. Or take everybody out that's the lowest power or the highest. I mean, how much power do we have? Does it say? I don't think it does. I don't know, it's probably fine. We bombed a lot of people, but you know what? I have no regrets. No regrets whatsoever. The election is coming. Well, ladies and gents, it's almost that time. Tomorrow we will be all witness a genuinely breathtaking and nerve-wracking spectacle. But remember, this isn't a circus. It's a presidential election. Don't vote for the biggest clown or your finest juggler. Choose wisely, or we'll all be screwed for the next four years, if not more. So may God help us all, and may he or she forever bless these United States of America. What? Okay. Ah, Mexico. Widespread criminal network has been traced back to one of the U.S. intelligence agencies. Uh, push for institutional reform and prevent this from happening in the future. I'll push my politics points up if we succeed. Okay. Go for it, yeah. Uh, just a reminder, you will lose a reputation with the countries in the same geographical area if you nuke a country. Yeah, I figured. So it's better for me to just nuke countries that I I don't like than... Okay, did we just liberate you? If we did, I gotta put a base on you guys. We won, yay! Okay. Um, liberation. I love it. Okay. Who hates us? We're coming for ya. Could take out all of parts of Africa here. I mean, would people hate me if I went through and tried to conquer you guys? Not really. And same deal with you guys. You're all mine. Every last one of you. <laughs> uh, oh, this is beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm enjoying this way too much. Yeah, we'll take Cambodia too. Uh, yeah, we'll take North Korea, sure. The day before I, I go for elections, I decide I'm going to cause pretty much the beginnings of World War. And you know, I don't regret that one bit. Everybody will love me. And if they don't, they will find out that they should have loved me. George, I missed you there. Anyone else want to fight me? 
Russia just went distrustful. They stopped. They, they, they don't hate me anymore. I guess. Um, anyone want a trade deal by chance? Oh, Guinea. I didn't realize you guys are you guys are free now. You guys want to make some money? Oh, we have active actions there, don't we? That's fine. We're actually gonna be making a huge amount of money because of all these bases. I mean, it's actually really beneficial to me to be doing this. We are probably the biggest superpower in the entire world right now. <laughs> and nobody can stop me. Uh, they're about to announce election results. Uh, give me a second. American Religion Week, sure. Let me look at this. Prior to announce American Religion Week. Sure. People love that. Uh, I'm excited, yeah. I can't wait, I can't focus on anything else this week. Same goes for most Americans, probably. Sure, I... Oh, sorry, I set the alarm on my phone not to miss the thing. Okay, I... Oh, okay. Indiana. Running a computer screecher prepared a live feed feature especially for this. Cool. Cut the comments section open. It's mostly trolls and memes, so childish. You can't take anyone online seriously. Okay. So I won Alabama, not by a landslide, but I did win Alabama. I won Alaska, again, not by a landslide, but I did win. We already have 12 of the votes, we need 270 to win. Arizona, it was 50-50 there, but I still won. I won Arkansas as well, and California by a landslide, oh my gosh. Colorado again we we're already we're, I think we're gonna win uh, Connecticut DC by, by landslide plus three votes Delaware not bad Ooh, Florida oh yeah we're winning this one there's no shot we lose Georgia and Hawaii Idaho we lost Idaho by a lot Wow Okay, but we took Illinois, we took Indiana, we took Iowa, Kansas. We're not winning by a lot, that's the scary thing. The ones that we're winning, it's kind of tight margins, except for, like, California. Louisiana, thank you. Maine? Maryland? We're about to win. All of those northern states love me. Massachusetts? Michigan was tight, but we kept it. Minnesota, Mississippi, that's 270, we just won. We took Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, oh my gosh. It just doesn't stop. We only lost one state, I think. North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania. Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas. <laughs> if somebody won like this in the real world, I would be pretty suspicious. I'm not gonna lie. Utah was 50-50, but we won somehow. We beat Vermont and Virginia and Washington. West Virginia I lost. That was two states. Wisconsin and then Wyoming beat. I, I got beat on... Wow. Wow, okay. Thank you for submitting your taxes. I appreciate it, Coral. How's it going? Welcome on in. Um, okay. I didn't do too bad. I, I think I did fantastic, in fact. Worried? Me? You know what my wife said when I told her I was going to run for office? But honey, is that really something you see yourself doing for the next four years? And I just laughed. Being a president is not something you do. It's someone you are. So no, I was not worried. After all, presidency is for life, quite literally, in some places. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to give that a shot someday. But I am getting ahead of myself. It's not like I have a God complex. <laughs> it's just that there's still so much work to be done. 
and I remain your president. I... I just got re-elected. Oh, who are you? Oh, you're my wife. What do you think about David Claudel's advice? Should we spend more time together to remind ourselves why we got married in the first place? Doesn't sound bad. But I'm not sure it fits my schedule. Or in this mess because my parents' marriages were a mess. I'll drink that anytime. We should spend time together. But I don't know how we can. Are you serious? Yesterday our therapist told you that your lack of co commitment is partially to blame. And now you're talking about our marriage not fitting your schedule. That was just a joke. I'm sorry. Of course, I'll do anything to bring the U.S. back on track. Don't you worry about that. The lack of commitment is hard to blame. The truth is we have grown apart lately. What do you think that happened? Well, this is not dead. Okay, we're good. Being the president is tough, demanding full-time job that sucks the fun out of things I once loved. Okay. That's getting a little bit personal. I know sometimes they think our lives would be better if we were plumbers or in-game builders. It surely would. Maybe David was right, and all we needed is a short, sweet marriage retreat. I've got to fly out to the West Coast. Maybe you could join me. We'll go for my private suite. Have a fantastic... <laughs> He's right. How about we can do it in Hawaii? Only us two. I guess I can use some time off. That's what we'll do. There we go. Look at me. I'm a genius. I fixed the marriage. I can run a country. I might be the pre best person to walk the earth now. Um, this is going so well. So, so good. Morning, sir. I have some exciting news, okay? I'm gonna know EU Parliament member Roland Klopfer? No. He's gonna be highly critical of the US and generally does everything in his power to loosen the corporation cooperation between us and the EU. So, naturally, he was one of our first targets, okay? Well, his son was active on a specific internet forum back in the day. It seems like it was his way of earning some extra income. We found some archived photos we could use to back blackmail his father. It's always good to have some someone watching our back over in the EU Parliament. I'll leave this here, so take a minute to think about it. Okay, thank you. What am I about to see? Anything? Okay. Alright, we got re-elected. And I kind of declared war on the world, so... Italy... Malta wishes to exit the European Union, remind them of the importance of these turbulent times. A perfect chance to establish a prefer preferential economic foothold in the European region. Um, let them figure it out on their own. Um. Hmm. I'd give them a repressed economy. But it would make them allied. I'll let them figure it out on their own, because I'm about to start nuking people. And I really don't want to mess with that. So we took Venezuela. That's ours now. Um, anyone else hate us? Let's see, we took Congo. That's ours. We took the Central African Republic. That's also ours now. Uh, let's see, anyone else? We're still fighting in Iraq, Iran, and... Uh, Afghanistan. But we took Syria. We took uh, Georgia. Oh, I didn't take Palestine. I didn't see you. You were hiding in there. Uh, okay, you're mine. Anyone that is hostile to me is getting obliterated. I did not... I thought I nuked him. I'm not gonna lie. I got scared for a second. I was like, I did not mean to do that. Okay, Cambodia's mine. Uh, North Korea, you're mine too. Okay. Um, anything else that we need to worry about? Can I nuke France yet? No? Okay. I think I'm doing a good job. France and I are not getting along too well, but you know what? It's okay. I will find some dirt on them, and I will end them. Okay, so now our next thing is we need to find people who fit the authoritarian regime and root them out. Okay? We must fix their corruption. 
And the best way to do this is to... <laughs> the best option to do this right now, in my opinion, is to just nuke Russia. It's not letting me nuke Russia. Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna save the game really quick. And, um... And reload. Okay. Who wants to nuke Russia and France? I feel like that's a great idea right now. It was a like election day in the USA, right? Yeah, it it's still election day. Um... Results are still waiting on a couple of places. Uh, okay, interesting. That's not a turnout I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie. Technically, we can't say it's over until 1 a.m. EST, so two more hours. Because uh, that's when Alaska puts in their vote. Um, however, Canada is expected to be within a couple of minutes soon. And Canada will probably, or not Canada, California. California will probably decide some things. Same thing with Nevada. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven states that still haven't called it. Um, but it's a race to 270, so each state gets assigned a certain amount of numbers. Oh, there it goes. Okay, California and Washington just reported. So now we're waiting on four more states. It's still anyone's game. It's anyone's game. Uh, this is actually kind of exciting. <laughs> now, obviously not every vote has been reported yet. Um, Texas is still at 74% reporting. Um, Arizona is only 50% reporting, and it's, it's within like 0.2% right now. Uh, Florida is only 97%. However, it's so close that you can call it there. Or it's not close that they can call it there. Um, places like that. Oh, I might, I might just sit here on the screen. We're waiting on Oregon and Nevada at this point. Uh, Nevada might actually decide it. Hang on, how much poll does Nevada get? Um, how do you, how do you? That's six votes there. Put okay, and then how much does Oregon get? Eight. So you'd have 6 and 8. That would be 14. How much does Alaska get? 3? We're missing votes. Hang on. Hawaii. That's only 4. Who am I missing? I'm missing somebody. I don't... Because that doesn't equal out to 270. Who's winning? Uh, Mr. T, the orange man, uh, right now. However, however, that being said, some of these some of these states can change, still depending on how much they count. Um, for example, Georgia hasn't called it yet. That's where some of these votes are. I was like, there's still a lot of votes that haven't gone out. Uh, he's winning popular vote and electoral vote. Um, so, majority have voted him, and the institutions are also voting him. Uh, Oregon just reported. Okay, so now we're just waiting on Nevada at this point. Alaska and Hawaii probably won't change anything. So you're just basically now we gotta wait on Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, and Arizona to finalize their vote, and then it can get called. Uh, you'll probably hear Georgia in the next ten, twenty minutes. They'll finish theirs. Same thing with North Carolina and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania will actually take a while. Pennsylvania notoriously takes to like Wednesday night. Uh, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow night to even hear anything. Uh, Michigan, uh, they're only at 27%. They may have quit for the night. <laughs> um, come on, Nevada, I just want to know. I just want to know. 
I'm pretty sure I know what the result will be there. Interesting. Washington called it with 0% reporting. That doesn't seem legal. Same thing with California. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And I might just be bugged. They don't have everything showing up yet. And technically, technically speaking, a, um, the Electoral College can uh, cast a vote against the popular vote. Um, so that, that could also be happening in some of these cases where they're like, we're voting this regardless of what our people say. We're pretty sure they're going to say this anyway. We're just going to go ahead and throw it in anyway. It's a pretty map. I will say that much. Come on, Nevada. Finish, finish up so I can get back to nuking France and Russia and all the other places. We're going to wreak havoc on the world. Come on. Okay, I will pull that up in a different window and I will just watch it. I'll let you guys know what happens, but... Uh, in the meantime... Boop. Choose amount. I can choose an amount? Oh, okay. Uh, chances to worsen relationship with influence area of the Eastern Bloc. Okay, so... I gotta keep my military at about 500 at minimum. So I'm gonna drop that down to 4. It'll do a decent amount of damage, it won't do a ton. But it, it'll keep my relations pretty tight, I think. So drop four nukes, that's 40 damage times four with the 157. Uh, that's not terrible, but I'm kind of tempted. Let's do France first. We could do four nukes. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Oh, yeah. There we go. They intercepted two of them, but... Two out of four hit. They're still holding up. Damage to power ratio, 17%. All my reputation just went down. It's okay. Don't I have, like, um, a base somewhere in there? I think I do. So how bad is the nuclear fallout over there? Uh, I can't really tell. That's fine. We'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna get yelled at for nuking France, but I felt like it was justified. We won. I mean, you won, Mr. President. <laughs> First day back in office. You know what I did? I launched nukes at France. We won, my friend. Okay. Impeachment? Oh, okay, I hope so. Uh, I have one term left. There's only so many things I can do. Okay. I want to make history. You're by far the most eccentric president in history. You'll definitely be remembered. You know, that's not what I mean. I don't want to be a clown. Oh, your political opponents would say it's too late for that. Uh, I will become such a good president that people want me for a third term. I'll expand my influence zone of the United States so much more than anyone else has before. <laughs> okay. I'll make the United States fear no crisis. I would also like to solve some world problems, or at least catch some terrorists. I don't know, I'd like to be a bit like James Bond. Of course, after all, I am your president. We're going for third term, boys! I'll change this country. Don't forget. It says county, but that's fine. So, um... Okay. I've already ran, like, every project I could at this point. I mean... At this point, we just need more... 
more of everything else. I guess throw some more into... Okay, I can't fund that anymore, so I'll just add to this. Okay. Um, then we've got three more. What do we do with that? Could throw it into there. Or I could throw it up in the air. There we go. Okay. I just killed Santa. <laughs> I killed Santa. Oh no, okay. Uh, you know, Canada still loves me. I'll take that. Not Santa. I didn't mean to. I was just curious what would happen if I clicked them. Okay. I think we're ready for the next day. Nuking France was one of the best decisions I think I've ever made. Legal immigrants, uh-oh. I wasn't expecting things to get so real so quickly. Oh, hi, honey. I just got a call. I'm, I'm, I'm... Stunned? Shocked? Both. There's my... Oh, oh, you're... Okay, gotcha. Grandma. Your grandma is alive. I so you, you could be a Russian spy and I wanted to marry you. <laughs> did I do? Uh, what, what did your grandmother want? She seemed a bit scared. Where? To the US? Santa was giving kids black lung anyway. True, true. You're not wrong. Okay. Um, well. Maybe she's alive, maybe she's not. We're landing in Moscow. I'm kind of tempted to nuke uh, Russia now. Okay, how do we take care of the illegal immigrants? Um, well, I've started moving very far left. It's been all over the place. We started moving, uh, you know towards anarcho-capitalism, then I jumped up towards fascism, and now I'm moving towards communism. It won't be long before we get to anarcho-communism, which is gonna be even crazier. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. France. Oh, yes, I forgot. Palestine, I have ended your war. Congrats, you're mine now. Um, Iraq, you're mine. Afghanistan, you're mine. Malaysia? Or, no, that's not Malaysia. Uh, Myanmar. Where's Malaysia? I want to take Malaysia now. Uh, shoot. Malaysia, you're right here. You're distrustful of me. You stole my flag design. I know you didn't, but it's mine now. Uh, so I am taking Malaysia. Uh, and you know what, France? You need to be taught a lesson. Uh, care to eat a couple more nukes for me? Uh, we'll shoot two at them. They beat one, but we hit another. They're still holding up, but they're not going to stop me. <laughs> Nobody can stop me. <laughs> oh, my diplomacy is plummeting. But you know what? I don't even care. We need to do some diplomatic relations. Um... Okay, so we need a trade agreement with one of the neighboring countries. But we can't just deal with people who are, you know, like filthy... Filthy communists, you know? So... If you don't have full democracy, I can't- I can't work with you. You have a flawed democracy. I'll take it. I'll take that, Panama. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create that and I'm gonna work with you. How do I, how do I fix things with you? Okay. I don't know. We'll go ahead and start investigating some of these people though. Okay, diplomatic relations, we need more. Uh... Let's talk to Bangladesh. And Nepal, I can't talk to Nepal, that's fine. Uh, we're losing a lot of political points. That's not great. Okay. Um... You know what? Germany? You are mine. <laughs> You're all mine. We're taking all of Europe. I have decided that that's what I want to do. Um... And, uh, can we afford to keep up with Britain, too? Probably not. We're fighting too many fronts right now. I gotta, I gotta slow down. We're liberating people. That's what we're doing, okay? Uh, where can I establish some more bases? Anywhere? Uh, to establish a base, you must be allied. Do I have any, um... Any allies that we're not already on base with? Cambodia, you've already got a military base. Throw one on Taiwan. But you already got one, Georgia. You guys are open to me, but you don't really love me. Have you built one on Israel yet? Where's Israel? They're, um... There you are. I didn't see them there. I own Israel, Palestine, and pretty much, like, most of the Middle East. We might as well take Jordan at this point. Uh, Jordan, you're mine. Um, I don't have enough action points. Dang it. I'll come back for you. Iran's mine tomorrow. Uh, influence sphere. So yeah, we just gotta take all the Middle East at this point. We will bring peace, justice, and security to my new empire. I might just expand out. We could always take Canada. Iran. <laughs> Iran, Iran. Iran's so far away. Oh, you're messing me up. Okay. Uh, we need more military power. Okay. And more diplomacy would be good. So I'm gonna throw you in place of her. Industry is still booming, we're good there, okay. <laughs> oh yes, we are killing it. We are, we are killing it. I am the rocket man, and I don't mind. All right, that, that's good enough for today, man. We, we did good. Oh, house is def different. Uh, in an act of protest against home law and regulations, people started painting their facades in pink. In a very pinky pink. Okay. Are you gonna get mad at me for nuking people now? Uh, do you happen to know of an elderly gentleman by the name of Cecil Edwin Nile? My PE teacher, okay. He's mayor in your hometown now, sir, and they, with the help of his great-grandson, I believe he just threatened you on social media. Oh, boy. 
Okay, if nothing has been done to fix this dam, uh, a tragedy is bound to happen and you'll pay for it, Mr. President. So don't forget your roots to help your folks out. What is he talking about? Okay. Starting to show signs, I see. Rather die than give up on this town. Quest our man, what should we do? How much will it cost to make all the necessary repairs? About 900 million? What if it breaks? Um, five to six houses, can't they relocate? It shouldn't be a problem that the mayor has given him his full support, encourages them to throw every paragraph in the book at us when we try to negotiate with them. Okay. No point in postponing the repairs, it's my hometown after all. Can't be careless about spendings right now in form of this. The mayor should not act this way, dismiss him from the position before he embarrasses himself further. Alright. Hi, honey. I talked for hours. Wait, what? That's not wasn't a dream? She lives with... Okay. I don't want to meet her. No. Uh, I'm going to interrogate you, you Russian spy. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Mr. President. Uh, you call me President when you think of the White House. Good to meet you, too. Uh, big indeed, but why did you want to leave Russia on such short notice? Some bad people from the past, they wanted to blackmail. Okay, why? Why? It's all about what happened in Siberia many, many years ago. I own Siberia now. You don't have to worry about them. Um, it was something else. Okay, like what? You tell me anything, I'm your granddaughter's husband, remember? Definitely could use the more diplomacy. <laughs> We're losing so much political favor right now. I own Siberia now. <laughs> Stalin, did you know Stalin? Like, how old are you? 110? You sure don't look it. I'm gonna drop my diplomacy or that. Okay. Um... Okay. I own Siberia. That, that's what I said. It's what I meant. <laughs> you know, I think Siberia loves me and I love Siberia. That's my personal preference there. And if they don't love me, they'll find out that they should have loved me because they could have it a lot worse. They could be France right now. They could be France. I think you're making a terrible mistake. I made a lot of mistakes. Okay, which one are you talking about, though? You attacked Germany, that's really bad. What? Why? I'm sure this was one of my best decisions lately. It wasn't. For many years, Germany has guaranteed stability in Europe. Our sudden attack violates this order. Germany, German order. Why do I feel bad just listening to this? Why do you put the atrocities of two world wars in my head before breakfast? <laughs> Sir, please don't be stuck in the past. Germany has changed a lot, just like the whole world has. You know that hot dogs originally came from Frankfurt? That's a proud German city. I love hot dogs more than I love my family, but I still don't want that word to rage on. But I still want that word to rage on. A National Hot Dog Origin Day may do. It's a thing, but I don't care. As for the world, it never truly changes. <laughs> a National Hot Dog Origin Day may do. We'll do a comparison with what? A military attack on a European country? I need you to be delighted. Everybody loves hot dogs. Hot Dog Day <laughs> Origin Attack. <laughs> Some of us were surprised after our president decided to attack Germany. But now he'll make it all okay. How? By declaring a National Hot Dog Origin Day and acknowledging German contribution to the creation of this delicious thing. What? Do you find that strange? Shut up and eat your hot dogs. Alright. What are we looking at here? So we're taking Germany. France is gonna be mine. Uh, we just took Iran. Um, you know, Afghanistan, you guys, do I have a base on you? I should put a military base on you guys. I don't, I don't need to. Okay. I must, I must already have a base there. Cool. Um, 
So we could take Jordan. Where's Jordan? Yeah, there you are. You're mine. Um, let's see. Let me... Okay, that way I can see who I've attacked already. Kuai? Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, yes! And you know what? You know what? Egypt, you're mine too. I didn't. I missed Lebanon over there. Cyprus, and we could take Turkey. We could. You won't even show me the menu for attacking Turkey. <laughs> the game doesn't want to let me do it. We have enough time to send another nuke. Do do we not? Maybe we can't send another nuke right now. I understand. King Tut is legally from the USA now. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, yeah, you know what? Me and King Tut, we go a long way back. Uh, we're gonna start seeding some some uh, some disdain for each other around there. Oh wait, Poland. We'll take Poland. Nobody can stop me. And once I'm done with Europe, I'm taking all of America. We're reuniting the United States of America. When we said united, we meant it. I meant it anyway. So I need to pull up my map because it's not updating. Um, restart. Still not giving me any info, that's fine. Alright. <laughs> I feel so good about this, dude. This this feels really good. Really, really good. Okay. We did good! We didn't actually tank our economy either, like, it's booming still. This is just proof that if we're ever in signs of economic distress, we should be attacking a lot more people. The Netherlands. What did you find? We managed to locate one of the last remaining members of Al-Qaeda hiding in the Netherlands. Demand his immediate extradition. Have him captured by US Special Forces. Why even bother with Al-Qaeda at this point? Uh, we could use the extra military power. So let's capture him by U.S. Special Forces. Alright, and Netherlands, just because you were housing him, whether you knew you were housing him or not, you're mine. I think I own the Middle East now. missing anything else? Oh yeah, I forgot about Malaysia. My bad. We could take Indonesia. I mean, why stop there, you know? You're distrustful of me? How dare you be distrustful of me? You're mine. And then France. I think I just want to throw as many nukes as I can at you and see how you handle it. Will I bounce back on diplomacy? Probably not. So maybe I don't to maximum, but I, I could drop down a little bit. So we're dropping five nukes on you guys. Only one landed? Nah. Nah, dude. Okay. I sacrificed a lot for that. I sacrificed so much. I will invade you guys. I am talking about the full destruction of France, okay? I'm crippling you as we speak. Okay? 
And you know what, United Kingdom, you're hostile right now? I don't like your attitude. So you're mine too. Ireland, don't you dare butt in, because I will take you out too. I can take on any country, every country, because you all are pathetic and weak. Man, I'm getting a little bit power hungry, I'm sorry. This is not supposed to go this bad, but... At the same time, like... You guys kind of hate me. I'm not appreciating that. Same thing with you guys. This little country, Trinidad and Tobago, I forgot about you guys, but I learned about you once. I'm taking you too. You all will love me, and I, I promise you that. You will love me. Whether you like it or not. Ah, yes sir. Hello. It's present you're doing better than I thought. Sounds like you think I'm a loser. Of course I'm doing great. Every survival day is in, in this position is a feat. <laughs> to the point. Okay, um... What you thinking? Okay. Implementation of what? Milestones of your presidency. Of course, we will document all successes, the real ones and the less real ones, to create an image of statesman and a real hero. Sounds good. Alright, yeah, yeah. Click on an app. We're gonna find it. On your computer, I guess, or in some presidential interface. I don't know. I call. I can call it. I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, there we go. Statistics. We need more power. And where can I get more diplomacy points? Um, that would give us some more points along the board. I mean, society isn't collapsing right now, so we'll take that. That gives us plus libertarian. Not that I need it, but we could take it. We'll hold on to our research points from now on, though. Hello, good sir. Okay, points not spent will be wasted. That's not great. Sir, I need to see this now. This article is published. Ah, I see. Okay. That's not true. It's that woman, your wife's grandma, right? Yes. Okay, you're right. We need to check this old lady out, but you better not tell Sarah about it. If she is, in fact, a Russian spy, things can get ugly fast. Uh, I know we have no choice. There's more at stake than Sarah's good mood. Alright, you good? Good. What do you want? Are you mad at me for invading Poland now? Calling my ex every time I was drunk in college was also not a good call. Please be more specific. Attacking Poland, I think this is simply a bad idea. Why? Does it make me look like... <laughs> a bit, maybe, but that's not important. What is important, then? Recently, Poland became a world power in game development, and games are an essential part of the modern world. Really, wasn't Cyberjunk conceived in Poland? So instead, its troubling release could be interpreted as an act of war, so I'm not attacking Poland, just defending our great country against unpolished games. Unpolished Polish games. Just saying, but I don't think games are that essential. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that one, because I like games. Sir, Cyberjunk is one of the most... one of the dozens of games created by Polish devs. Many unique titles are being made there. This dog of mine, the Creature series, and I'm your president, to name a few. I see where you're heading. I'll use the power of Creature to do Polish game creators some justice, but I'm refusing to end that war, period. Solving world's problems by sending one tweet. Poland will be destroyed, but don't worry. Polish games are here to stay. Older people like me really play games, so why should I care about Poland? War is like a video game. I don't care about casualties because I don't believe they're real. <laughs> Games, games never change, just like people. Polish games are here to stay. Poland is not. That's what I call cold comfort. My favorite games are the ones with beasts in the title. <laughs> Was this Poland anyway? More like Holland. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
Ah, uh, let's see. Where do I want to go? I don't really need the extra help on money. Or industry, for that matter. We'll just go ahead and go for libertarianism, then. That way I can go for authoritarian, then. Start going for the legend in the making. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we have more action points? Um, Japan. Where are you? Uh, you're right here. You and I are friends right now. But do I need you? I don't. It's time for round two. Why can't I nuke you? Seriously? I will come back for you, I promise you that. And in the meantime, we're gonna start a trade deal with, um... Ethiopia. Because I, I, I needed money, I guess. I don't know. Look at that! That is a sign of a good presidency. Hello, sir. What do you, what can I do for you today? As far as I'm afraid, we got a very serious problem. One of our NSA contractors, Edmund Sachs, leaked some top secret documents to the media. What documents? Should I be worried? All the leaked documents relate to our top of the secret Eye of the Beholder program. Okay. Who came up with that? Such a stupid name. Uh, what is this program about? Mass surveillance mostly, okay. Tell me I can read. <laughs> Is that even legal? Yes sir, you signed the bill yourself. What a fantastic job I have. Okay. Afraid it's too late for that. Edwin Sachs has already left the country. We're trying to track him down, but at the moment we don't know where he is, so we have to force the media first. Okay. You want me to do a conference? Uh... Yeah, I'll do a conference, okay? I can do this. I'm really good at conferences. Alright, three, two, one. You in the back. Uh, Mr. President, did you know about the Eye of the Polar Program? Y no. Uh, what about Edmund Sachs? Does he want a man? Absolutely. Uh, is the government really reading our emails? Sometimes. Uh, do you think Americans should be informed about the... Probably. Uh, is that true that you got to give... Uh, maybe? It hurt my society, but it helped my political points. I'll take that. My society is fine. As far as I think I know you're here. Okay, why? What did I do? I certainly did. You attacked France? I've been attacking France. What are you on about? Uh, my feelings made me do that. Most of my disdain towards France and my sudden urges to start another war. Not sure. I guess I had something to do with France trying to be a European superpower and me not liking that. I don't like France. That's just why. So you fired the missiles at France because you have undermined problems. Undetermined problems with this country, am I correct? Yes, who likes France and French things anyway? Sure, everybody loves French fries, but not much else. Look, France has it coming for a long time. They're calling Quarter Pounder Le Royale or something like that. And they think the French language is superior to English. Don't you want to nuke them instantly? I think that's... But they're part painters. They're literature. You know, there's a door there. Use it. Then go to the museum. See my pet man or something. And send me your impressions over email so I can mark it as spam, will ya? I'm about to yeet you out of my office, Tina. You're still on good terms with me, though. <laughs> okay, what we need right now is more political points. Can I get any more from these guys? Unfortunately, it does not look that way. Sir, just tell me why did you decide to attack the UK? Did I? Yes, you did. Why? Uh, they think they're better than us. That's it? That's your only reason to attack this country? You just made that up, didn't you? You're right, I did. I just wanted to start a war. The UK was the first thing that came to mind. I did not. And if you don't like my answer, eat some fish and chips while listening to the Oasis mate. <laughs> 
Really? Are you serious now? Maybe, definitely, probably, I guess I'll never know. But you, I want you to remember that I'm not a soulless drone. I like some British pop stars, I'm sad they'll probably die now. At least Radiohead should be spared. <laughs> Leave me alone. I just want to nuke some countries in peace. Oh, hi, sir. You, you, you have liked what I've been doing, okay? You don't look happy. Tricky, complicated situation. And... Journalist was terrified. He told us the information about... Okay. What does this mean? I mean, two things. Either someone close to the Russian president decided to mess with him, or it's all made up. Okay. Must be his idea, but why? It's hard to guess. Um... She was a big shot in the 50s. She told me she was training, trailing American spies in Siberia for Stalin himself. I'm gonna sink myself if I have to, but I'm gonna be honest. She's lying about her age. Most people do, sir. You lie when you're too young to drink, and you lie when you're too old for something else. But why would she be afraid to stay in Moscow? That's what I'll do. Thank you. Hmm. We're going to keep waiting on uh, more points. In the meantime, we have a world to save. Trinidad and Tobago is mine. Guyana is... and Suriname. Yeah! Oh, I missed you. You're mine as well. Is everybody just cracking under the pressure of me? Can I not drop another nuke? Seriously? Because I've got another action with you guys. There we go. Um, let's try to drop two nukes on them. They blocked them. Well, that didn't work. You know what, China? Or not China. <laughs> Japan, I'm sorry. China was right there and I just read the wrong name, I guess. Uh, 107? Can we afford that? It would come at a tight cost. We can't go to war with Japan right now. Okay, Germany we end in seven turns. Poland is almost mine. The Netherlands is almost mine. We're about to make back a whole bunch of my military might. Spain doesn't like me though. How much would it cost for me to go to war with you? Negative 38 every turn? Okay. It's all mine. It's always been mine, and it always will be mine. My diplomacy is no longer dropping from the map. I've killed everybody that could possibly want to disagree with me at this point. Now I just gotta watch my political points free fall. Uh, we gotta be able to do something about that, can we? Um... That's plus 10 every turn. Okay, that would give me plus 15 right now. Okay. Huh. We're not using any political names, uh, Derek.
I'm in trouble. Hmm. What did I say? You, you no no real politics today. Um Okay, I can't invest any points there, so what can I do on the global stage here to fix my politic actions? I guess we guys do mass investigations in hopes that I can find anything, anything at all, and give myself more political favor with them. The only president we care about is Reg. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but I have 32 military uh, installments across the world right now. And I'm in fighting nine wars. I am nuking France. I have tried to nuke uh, Japan. They intercepted it over the Middle East. Um... I have some very fine diplomatic relations, I'll have you know, and some very fine trade agreements as well. Some of the best trade agreements, in fact. Gosh. Alright. Okay, I am starting to dwindle a little bit, but I think I can fix it. Alright, yeah, there we go. The European Union is in shambles. Ireland just announced its bankruptcy, putting the whole region's economy at risk. Okay, what can I do in terms of... I could get another action point. And I could weaken them. Oh. That is an opportunity I really can't pass up. Because everything else I don't need. President of Belgium, ha Belgium has drunkenly sent you an email filled with insults. Okay. Um, if I fail, I get some extra political points. So I'd hope to fail, honestly. And I succeed, of course. Whatever. Italy, you're mine. Be careful of the second thing. It is at... 338, yeah, it's, it's... Or 438, sorry, yeah, it's kind of low. Uh, thank you for the candy, I appreciate it, Derek. Thank you for the lurk as well, I appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna eat a couple of M&M's, there we go. Yeah, I need more political points and uh, diplomacy. This will give us some diplomacy. Italy would remain hostile with us, but they would go to full democracy, which is an improvement. However, they could fall into an authoritarian regime, and I feel like that would be well, well used of me from to just go in there and nuke them. You know? Hmm. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I am going to use this opportunity to speak peace and unity. Gain a little bit of extra diplomacy. Bring us back up into the green. We took Poland! Yeah! There we go. Um, let's see. Denmark. Take the political points. Oh yeah, we've got other countries, right. Portugal. Egypt. Um. Oh. Panama. Okay, plus 50 there. That's pretty good. And it gives me a very good reason to attack them because they start being distrustful. second. Uh, save, override, yep. 
Load. Load. Game glitched. It won't let me pick anything else, so I, I guess that one works. Okay, back to the world stage. There we go. Anything else I need to look out for? I don't think so. However, you're open with me now. You're open. You're distrustful, though. I don't like that. However, I need to save my military might. We're at 308 right now. Can we take on a war with Japan now? Ooh, 107. What about Russia? Can we take on the big bear? 121? We could take them on. However, they're currently loving my politics right now. Same thing with China. So I need to find people who are damaging my political re reputation right now. Like Ireland, you're at two. Uh, what about Ukraine? You're at negative one. Okay. Any of these other countries? We can't- we can't be forgetting about Africa. Or what about Australia over there? Negative nine. Okay, what about Canada? You guys- you guys hate me? Okay. Canada, we cannot put up with that. Can I not nuke you? I will take my base away from you guys just to nuke you. This is what you get for having issues. It's not letting me nuke them. Okay. In that case, France, um... I can't nuke France right now, that's fine. Okay, well then Japan it is. It's not letting me nuke them. Canada is allied with you? Yeah, but they're also dropping my political points by negative 22 per turn. And I need to start fixing that, so... If everybody hates me a little bit, I think it might work. <laughs> I don't know. That's just a wild guess. Certainly it can't get much worse. Actually... You know what? We'll keep the military base. What we're gonna do... I wanna nuke Russia. But it won't let me nuke Russia. So I, I don't feel like re-logging right now, so I'm gonna go conquer Russia. And you know what? Just to flex on them all... I think I'm going to also take out China. Because we could do China in... 206 per turn. We'd still be making income. Bye-bye, China. We have single-handedly declared war on every nation in the world, pretty much. And we might actually win. Um, <laughs> not too bad, not too shabby at all, honestly. Something on my neck. Oh wait, we, we gotta, we got more points to spend, right. Yeah, uh, up our diplomatic relations and whatnot. You know, I feel like that might be a good idea, just possibly a, l a little bit anyway. Um, hopefully that makes me somewhat bearable to these people. Kind of surprised Australia isn't really mad at me right now, but I'll take it. I already did this. 
How far behind am I? Same day. I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Um. Weird. It's definitely weird. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Uh, what about if it breaks? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, they can relocate. And then understand I made up my mind. Have the mirror removed. Okay. Let's, um... Let's go for authoritarianism for now. Oh, hi. You are the first time- That's the first time I've ever seen my daughter. We're gonna try to speedrun now, because I don't have much more time. Is it true that you read my emails? What? Who told you that? I don't have time for anything at this point. I don't even read my own emails. I believe you tell me the truth, but what is the truth? Plubbert said. There is no truth, but only perception. The truth makes me sad, because you call me an old- <laughs> There is no truth. Pat it with you. I'm going to write on my blog that you're a liar and a fraud. I've got 5 million followers hanging on every word I said. I just don't care, honey. Still love you, though. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just disappointed you called. <laughs> just gonna tell you, yeah. No, I just care about you. I'll screech that I'm sorry, and soon everyone will know. What do you do? Call the police? Grow up. Everybody's spying on everybody. I will make a tweet. How about that? About to come to the United Countries of Earth. Exactly, exactly what I'm thinking. I meant the whole world is one big reality TV show. Doesn't it make you feel like the star? I guess George Orwell is right. If you want to keep a secret, you must also hide it from yourself. I saw the truth in the eye of the beholder. We're just gonna go deep there. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Yeah, I want to see you. One of the of us are a politician, it's not always great. So... Can you tell me why you lied? Your age, your past, your connections to Russia. I want to know about that. Saying you faked your own death for a reason? Okay, something about Stalin, blah 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 blah. Well, you're lying now. Or maybe you're not lying now, but you were. Oh, okay. That's why he wants me dead. I know how dark this past is. Uh... Okay, well, why don't you just, like... Thank you for telling us the truth, I guess. Thank you, it's appreciated. You can stay for now. I will go nuke Russia for you. Something like that. Okay. We have a little bit more that we can invest. Although I gotta keep an eye on my politics, that's the thing. Unfortunately, there's just not much more I can invest at all. Um... I mean, it's probably fine. Probably. Uh, here's your hydrate. I appreciate it. Earth Hydra, how's it going? Nearly done everything I can do. 
And you know what? It's been worth it every step of the way. Yeah, another token, it says. All right. I mean, we're still winning. We're still actually, like, somehow surviving, even though I committed really bad crimes. Thank you for Lurk. I appreciate it, homie. Oh, we took the Netherlands. Thank you. Norway. Number of high-ranking officials in Norway have been revealed. Okay. Well, uh, they're as good as dead to me. It will not let me pick the option I want to pick. Okay, well in that case, I will pick that one because it will give me at least an extra button. Finland is so preoccupied with internal conflicts, it's effectively non-functional. Okay. Publishing. Okay, so now we, we can do more espionage there, which is good. They're gonna hate me for it, but that's kind of what I want. Still not letting me nuke people again. So I might need to reload. That's what we'll do. So I have to, well, let me get through the rest of this. What do you want? So this is supposed to be the biggest military power on this planet, but it's not looking so good right now. Uh, why? We have drones, bombs, and whatever else you like. Yes, but we should have more military bases outside of the U.S. What do you mean? I've got like 20. Boy, those troops are not going to be happy. Okay, you're right. I'm only paying paid for that. Let's... I don't know what she's on about. I've just made like 30 bases. Oh, you're back. Why? What you did is nothing short of insane. Hello, my all-time favorite secretary. What did I do this time? Full-blown attack on Russia? What? what how? Why? What, what? What? Russian leader Boris. Uh, yep. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, taking him out. Sir, you shouldn't attack Russia despite... <laughs> it's not rational. Russia simply can't become too strong. I know. I know Russia is a state of mind. But that doesn't mean that Russians can do whatever they want. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, I get sir, er, but that should be a reason to start a war with an opponent. That's strong. Yes, the only person that can do whatever he wants is me. <laughs> Maybe not, but Russia had it coming a long time. That country never stopped being the evil empire we made it to be almost 40 years ago. Are you quoting Reagan, sir? Are we really? Yes, we are. We're the good guys here. Never forget that. Good guys make mistakes, sure. The bad guys only make good things by mistake. Is that clear? Now go. I need some me time. <laughs> I'm a good president, guys. I'm actually the best president, in fact. Can you leave me alone? With all due respect, have you lost your mind? May I have? What's new with you? Why attack China? Is there something I should know? Do you have a death wish? Some media outlets claim China could be the world's dominant superpower. I don't like the word dominant. <laughs> Sir, you shouldn't attack China just like that. It's incredibly unwise, but I don't want them to be the dominant superpower. I want us to be the only superpower on the top planet, so no one can dominate us. <laughs> That's understandable, sir, but launching an all-out attack like this is not the best way to go opponent on against an opponent that strong, don't you think? No, I don't. An all-out attack was the only thing China wasn't expecting. Is that the only cause of starting this war? No, but I don't have to explain everything to you. See? See how that works? Okay, I was gonna say, if it's that woman again. Can't believe I'm asking this, but did you recently try to rewrite Norse mythology? Uh, absolutely not. What are you implying is a preposterous, but I know you did. You got a copy of Norse gods, goddesses, and heroes. And a foreword by, with a foreword by Gael Neiman, and you're in it. There's an illustration of you, a hammock. <laughs> Maybe you're just jealous because you didn't get... <laughs> But you didn't either. Everyone knows that. You're only making a fool of yourself. First, everyone li will like me and thinks I'm super cool. I will be equal to the gods and legendary heroes. Second, whatever happens to the rest of my presidency, I will be remembered as the most exciting person in modern political history. How hard is it to count? You'd be surprised. You'd be very surprised. 
Pennsylvania won't have the results until probably Wednesday night. They won't confirm it anyway. Uh, it's either that or you look uh, like a messed up egomaniac. Please, for the love of God, for all the love of gods, remove this book from the market. Uh, I will print even more copies so everyone knows I'm cooler than Nephilim. <laughs> Heck yeah. This is what we're doing. We're doing it. Oh my gosh. What have I done to deserve all these door knocks? Mr. President, I have good news and bad news. Uh, start with the bad. He's in China. Oh. Good news is we know where he is, but the bad news is he's in China. And we can't touch him. That sounds like the only bad news to me. Well, that's the one way to put it, but at least we know what we're dealing with. Now it's time to react. We're going to leak to the press that Saks was the Chinese spy all along. Uh, well... We're going to get Russia involved. It's best leaked to the press that Saks was a Russian spy all along, and now he's trying to mess with the Chinese government. We'll take it slowly. We'll screech about it today, and then we'll see how China reacts. No, let's just go all in. It's also Russia. I'm, I'm, I'm taking out Russia. Could get him killed. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it would be a death, death sentence for him. It would also make a huge mess on the wider international scale. Um, change of plans. Tell the media that Saks is a Chinese spy. No, no. He messed with us. We mess with him. That's how it works. Mr. President, I know you've decided, uh... There we go. Uh, distract skills make people forget about Will Spockter, but now we've got a situation. What kind of situation? It looks like he's connected to the Russian government. Um, so this journalist is more important than any of us knew. Yeah, but we have to be extremely... Okay, somebody's calling right now. What do we got? Talk to me. How are you, Mr. President? Uh, let's cut the crap. I know what you want. Excuse me, do you know what I want? Yes, total war domination. Hot joke. I'm messing with you, Boris. Please, tell me what's on your mind. You're calling to talk about that journalist. Why is he so important to you, though? Let's just say he's a close family friend. You're very mysterious today, Boris. He's my son's best friend, all right? I'm ready to exchange him for two American spies we arrested last month. It's a good offer. Just two random spies for a good friend of your son. I didn't even know you had a son. I'm sure you can come up with a better offer. I don't think I'm interested. Spies are a dime a dozen. But friends like that, oh, they're rare like diamonds. Oh, well, I promise to forget about Babushka. Nothing terrible will happen to her. No one will mention Stalin's name when talking about her, etc. Well, Mr. President, now we're talking. I like that offer a lot. Sorry, that's still not good enough for me. Bye. <laughs> we're strong-arming this man. What we got here? New document for me to sign. Um... Yeah, sure. Make the people happy. I don't know. I can't- I can't be bothered to- to read all that right now. What we got? That would give us some political bonuses. That's what we need right now is, uh, diplomacy. So anything with extra diplomacy is what I should shoot for. And in this case, the best way for me to get diplomacy is networking right here. Okay. Oh, we didn't we didn't do much today, did we? What I need to do save the game. And I've got to reload because it won't let me nuke uh, countries again. Okay. Probably because I'm in there already. We'll nuke Japan then. Uh, we'll drop... We could probably get away realistically with 400... Four, four nukes. 
one made it through. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. Now that we've nearly taken them out, I mean, not really nearly taken them out, but we've started the progress. Uh, that's negative 100 every turn. We cannot actually fight them right now. So never mind. We have to wait for a couple of my other small wars to end. And then we got to go invade Mexico because they're right on my border and they are distrustful. And I don't like that. I, I don't personally like that very much. I'm going to be in political free fall if I don't, if I'm not careful. Because nobody really likes me is what I'm realizing. Um, and the countries that did like me no longer like me. <laughs> but I've been weakening them ever so slightly. France is almost mine. Germany's almost mine. Poland is mine. It's mine, you know? And uh, Austria over here, how much? Negative 16 for every turn. We could we could go into Austria. And uh, we could do we could do Hungary too. And Slovakia. And you know what? We'll take Bosnia too. Am I a maniac? Perhaps. But I'm a maniac with a plan. Also, I forgot. I have more points that I could spend. Uh, let's do some more diplomatic deals. Can we do any? Nobody wants to do any diplomatic deals, really. Okay. Well, I'll do some monetary deals with you all. It's good for the industry, you know? My industry's actually kind of crap right now, so... Uh, it's probably about time I fix that. Kind of surprised nobody's calling me a warmonger right now. Alright. Iceland, what you got there? Dangerously high sea... Dangerously high water levels have led to food and sanitary crisis in... in Iceland. I don't have anything for politics, but I do have something... potentially damaging for some other things. I don't think I really want to... If I ally with them, I don't think they'll really change their political opinion. That's the problem. Um, I'll go ahead and take this, though, because it's the least risky for me. It won't let me do it. Okay. In that case, I'll help. It won't let me do that, either. This game is so buggy now. I don't know what it is with the second term, but it, it's not even letting me confirm that I want to save. Save game. Overwrite. Confirm. I only know what to do sometimes. Okay. I'm actually stuck. Um. launch the game for this one. I don't really want to do that though. But I guess. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh well.
Okay. Game's almost reopened. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Um. I'd like to finish the game up soon, though, so we can actually go to bed tonight. That would be really nice. Okay. Load. Load. Okay. Um... Did it restart my campaign here, it looks like? Yeah. How many did we send? It was four? Sure. Oh yeah, we landed two that time. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I did some like little battles throughout here, but um, right now... You know what, I'm going to take that back. We're not going to do that right now. What I will do, though, is try to do any diplomatic relations with people, and nobody really wants to, so that's okay. But I can now. I should be able to anyway. Oh, that would be distrustful. Okay, never mind. In that case, yep. Let's just take all their money. Okay. That's good enough. Sign 15 trade agreements, so... Okay, that's easy enough. We're good. Okay. Take extra political points, always. France is mine now. Um, any other countries that want to join me now? Um... Mm -hmm. I think... Let's see, we've got 168 there. Hello, AJ. AJ McMuffin. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I think we're gonna take Ireland. And then we'll take Belgium. And... let's see... We could take Switzerland and... Italy might be pushing it. We could take Austria and... and there we go. Did I have to do that to them? No. Did I want to? Yes. <laughs> oh, Mongolia, you're right there in between the two. That would be great military positioning. I'm actually gonna take Mongolia, too. <laughs> Alright, good, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. I'm pretty tired, we're just kind of quickly finishing up this game, hopefully. Uh, soon-ish, maybe. Uh, I'm just goofing off at this point, just trying to get to the end. And, um, you know, whatever happens, happens, and however it happens, you know. It's happening today, is finally the day. What is happening? Uh, what? Don't tell me you're pregnant. No, Dad, I'm on. Uh, I don't want to hear about it. I'm okay. Anyway, today is the world premiere of the movie called oh, Super Smash Sisters. Tell me about your friend, Lily. <laughs> Uh, I met her in New York two years ago. She's 25. Okay. She works at Stoke Factory, hates men, and collects bugs. Um. <laughs> she also thinks you're a threat to democracy. What? You know I love you. Okay. I can only hope this movie won't do in much in harm to any of you involved. And I swear I'll try to be proud of you for taking part in this. Shocking movie causes riots in many cities. Oh. Afraid North Korea started conducting testing firings of their... I'm... I own North Korea. I don't know what you want me to do about it. 
Aren't they far, far away? Well, it does not look good. Their missiles are our perspectives. As their weapons get better, our perspectives are only getting worse. So, what options do we have? Not many North Korea's recent actions leave us only with one option. Sending a really mean screech. Bury our heads in the sand and pretend we were born that way. Nah, send a really mean screech. No, sir, use nuclear weapons. I like your style. Let's do this. Can I help you, sir? Edmund Sachs is dead. He was shot by... Okay, that was quick. Oh, it's no choice what now? Uh, that was quick. Good for us. It's not perfect by any means, but at least now the general public is focused on hating both Russia and China. Now we have to decide what to do with the Eye of the Polar co Program. Uh, it stops now. We'll consider something similar in the future. It'll be continued, of course. It stops now. Without good surveillance, we won't be able to prevent... Uh, good point. We'll continue the program. I know, and when things get really ugly, we'll create a new program more extreme and more discreet. It's gonna be a little crippling to start with, but it's okay. It started with an earthquake. An NSA contractor told the media that my Eye of the Beholder program is used for mass surveillance of American citizens, and the bastard fled to China. Half the country got mad at me, even my own daughter. Luckily, we've managed to convince the public that this man, Edmund Sachs, was not a hero, but a devious spy. In the end, it turned out Sachs was just a small fry, while the real enemy, China, tried to screw us over once again. And that's something I'll never forget. It's okay, China's mine soon. Oh, okay. Now, good news, Mr. President, we made some arrangements, and now you're able to talk to Will Spocker over the phone, maybe get some intel out of him. Uh, sounds interesting, but why would I? Very interesting game. It's a very interesting game indeed. Um, it's, uh, let, let me think. It's so hilariously unserious. It's like very serious at certain times, and then it just gets like really wild. Like, whoa, that was crazy. Where'd you pull that from? Um,. Intentionally, I, I, I think it was intentionally so. Um, but it, it's an interesting game, that's for sure. Here's your hydrate. A couple of hydrates. And a posture check. I do need that, that's for sure. Thank you. I uh, called him a family friend. Maybe there's something more to it. You're right. Need to push him a bit. We can get some dirt. Yeah, there we go. We got up my political points. Um, so you ready to speak with him? Sure. He probably knows something about. Okay. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I need all the points I can get. So up here they have all these points that you need to balance and try to keep up. I, I've been doing a pretty decent job. Did you want to talk to me? Yes, I know you're somehow connected to Russia, but I'm not sure how and why. So just tell me. Listen, punk, the Russian president calls you family uh we we need diplomacy points so we'll go with that i have no idea what you're talking about this is all a big mistake uh there must be a reason why boris wants you out of jail he's not a good person so you must have some solid leverage no i have nothing please let me go before i die here if you don't want to help me you gotta stay sometimes you get snakes on a plane and sometimes you get a truly shocking news on the plane I was calmly enjoying my Air Force One flight when my wife told me her long presumed dead grandma not only lives, but wants to join us, leaving Russia for a much better country, our country, the United States of America. Next thing I know, Babushka is living with us in the White House. And during our very first conversation, she tells me that she and her husband used to kill American spies many years back when Stalin was still alive and kicking. As if everything wasn't surreal enough, suddenly this crazy article was published, accusing Babushka of being a spy, working closely with Boris Nupagadi, the Russian president. To get out of this mess, I had to deal with the Russian president himself. Shocking as it may sound, there is an important lesson here. Man can go really, really far to keep his family safe and happy. Even if your grandma is a spy-killing badass from the darkest forests of Siberia. Darkest forests of Siberia, that's crazy. I would play this 
It's a it's a good game. It's a good game. I most likely start World War Three and ruin the world with nukes. I may or may not have started a couple of wars. Uh, I I own a couple of countries that um that I shouldn't own. Um, let's see. I've set up bases throughout like South America, Central America. Uh, I've started waging war throughout Europe. I nuked France earlier, um, but I beat them, I guess. Uh, we took out a lot of the Middle East, and I nuked Japan, because I felt like it. Can I nuke, um... I can't nuke countries I'm already battling. Would it be wrong of me? Yeah. Am I gonna do it? Yeah. Oh, they're not even gonna defend it? Oh, I feel terrible. Well, I just... I just nuked the Ukraine. <laughs> well, you know what they say. No regrets. Uh... Moving on. You saved us, Mr. President. No need to believe- Oh, that was- that was indeed an alien. Okay, cool. Um... I'll boost my industry and my, uh... Military. Uh... Libertarianism. More political points. Boosting our military and our industry wouldn't be a bad thing in this case. Okay. Pew pew, because I feel like it is crazy. Oh, it, you know, it's a, it's a little crazy just blowing up people, but you know... Maybe there's nothing wrong with it, necessarily. We're only making 73, so I gotta be careful who I choose here. I gotta pick a small country. Greece, you're mine. You didn't save anyone, you just killed more than 10,000 people. Yeah, I, um... I'm not really known for, for protecting people, I suppose. Not been a great president for the world, but mostly for America. I mean, we've we've done well economically speaking. I mean, I just liberated all of Europe, basically. Okay, it's broken again. Uh, this game does break a decent amount, so I'm hoping. There we go. Uh. What do we need? Okay. Finland. I'll take the, um... Extra point against Law and Order, I guess. And then... Let's see, we need to come up here. Yep. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. Oh, I haven't come to take Ukraine yet. Oh yeah, you're mine. Uh, let's see. We want to nuke somebody. Um, throw some more nukes at Japan, I guess. I mean, I can't really do much though because of diplomacy, and it's not bouncing back as quickly as I need it to. We'll jump three and see what they- They blocked all three, dang it. Can I have one point, please? Unfortunately, I'm not able to give anybody channel points. Otherwise, I would. Uh, I think Twitch should add that as a thing. Blocking all my attacks, though, and that's not good. I need to chill on the nukes. Um... We'll do a couple of diplomacies here and there to maybe make some people happy. 
It'll boost my reputation. People will go, yeah, you know, maybe he's not so bad. And economically speaking, I'm a fantastic president, of course. Attack quickly. A man calling himself the puppet master has contacted us, saying he will, that many children will die if we don't give him what he wants. Sure, but what does he want? He says he wants to speak directly to you. Why me? He said he's your biggest fan. Uh, sounds troubling, but I guess I have no choice. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Next time you should play passive mode. I mean, usually I'm pretty tame, I guess. It's just today I'm not. Uh, what do you want? I put 100 tiny explosive devices inside sweet surprise eggs here in the US. They're all activated at the moment, so when a kid cracks a chocolate egg and opens a plastic capsule, the bomb will explode and melt their face. Deactivate them now. Don't hurt those children. Innocent, you surely don't remember. But we were kids. You made me drink from a puddle. I was sick for days. Okay. I'm sorry for what I did. I never made meant to make you sick. I might be a little bit of a psychopath, but that's okay. I have a confession to make. When I was a troubled kid, I hurt many people. I'm sorry for all that. I tried to be a better human. No, don't drink from a puddle if you don't want to be a mud and worms. I was a little psycho when I was a kid. Didn't kill anyone, though. At least not yet. What is really evil? Is it the thing inside my cold black heart that made me hurt everyone around me? Too serious there. See how that goes. Okay, that, that worked out pretty okay. We're good. We're fine. Are you, okay. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Talk about some other time. You're right. We must do something, anything. I did not. No, I haven't seen it. Okay. I, but I have. I can't sleep. Um... I don't know, do well. Tell me about it. What is it about? Kind of like Fight Club or Matrix, but with oppressed minorities and abused women. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, you say letting five nukes out is tame? I mean, I'm usually tame. I'm not usually the one that's just like get off the chain and send out nukes, but today, today is just a different day, you know? Uh, the riots must end, it's time to use the National Guard, this is just too much, I can't do this right now. Uh, National Guard time. Escalated quickly, just joking, it won't. <laughs> Are you saying you're a good president? I think I am. I, my diplomacy is suffering right now, and I mean, I, I wouldn't probably nuke people usually, but today, you know, I was feeling a little bit funny is all. Here's your tab. Thank you. Uh, this document details the ways in which state gun laws ought to be adjusted to match the federal standard of regulations. All effective immediately in most states shall be given more time to adjust their infrastructure due to the discrepancy between their current regulations and this federal standard. Uh, why not? Sure. It usually makes people happy when I sign something, so... Okay, do we have any diplomacy anywhere? Is there anything I can do to stop this free fall I'm in? No, no there's not, or not right now. I will sub on the 14th? I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Can't tell them. No worries, dude. No worries. There's no expl ex explanation. There's no expectation. Sorry, words are hard. There's no expl expectation uh, for you to sub or any of that stuff. I appreciate the thought, though. Okay, we're good. Yep, we won. We're good. <sighs> okay. Must talk, I feel old. Uh, hello to you too. Sorry about having time for protocol today. I woke up today feeling older than ever, and that sucks. No one here is getting any younger. You are older than ever, and tomorrow you'll be even older than today. No one's getting any younger. 
Or what's going on? Just give it to me straight. I don't know, you tell me I'm old and deeply disappointed just like you. Are you worried about the future? You know, global warming, world hunger, and fast decline of our civilization. Is this something personally someone made you feel that way? Are you worried about the future? Is that what you're worried about? You know, the future gives me panic attacks sometimes, so that's not why I'm starting to feel like I'm older than you are. It's a midlife crisis? Dad, I'm at... Oh, boy. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you're thinking, okay? Uh, went to the nightclub, all the people there looked like a bunch of kids. Oh. Time flies like a savage drone hurting everyone. But you can get used to it, trust me, and think about the alternative. Being stuck in a time loop, not making any progress in your life ever. It's not that bad. Uh, we'll, we'll go with the nicer option here. You're right, thanks, Dad. It was nice talking to you. You're so nice. This is why you're my favorite. Having kids and watching them grow up made me appreciate life in general. We all feel old, weird, or stupid sometimes, but like every other emotion or thought, this too will pass. Is it wrong to say if I played this, I would most likely nuke the and the world and slave everyone and I see and have World War 3 through 8? You know... You know, no, no, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, I, I mean, I'm in a similar boat, I would say, sir. When you joked about riots escalating, yeah, not really. I joke all the time. Some of you even call me the Joker. Have to inform that the riots haven't escalated, but they're far from over. That's good and bad at the same time. Okay. Uh, send in more boys from the National Guard. Who knows? Maybe I'll even get some, some private special privileges. Uh, special privileges does sound like too much. It's the army, sir. You should control it, not be controlled by it. Well, we'll see. But you should know I don't like being told what to do. Yep, that's exactly right. Okay. We're good? Ah, uh, that shrinking army is not good. What, what might I do in order to find what I'm looking for here? I need... I need more stuff. Yeah, up there. Go up that way, I guess. Um, outside of that... Um... Let's go... Let's go with gun safety here. It'll get us one step closer to that, which is what I need. Okay. Dab it's on cooldown. Yeah, I, I, I have it on cooldown so people don't um, spam it. Otherwise, I end up dabbing all day and not getting any games done. Okay, we won Germany. Austria and Belgium. Okay, we'll take uh, Luxembourg and Denmark and Norway and Sweden. And you know what? We'll take Finland too. Okay, we'll also take Iceland. And Italy. We still have room to go, I guess. Estonia and... There we go. And I, I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> they have a Minecraft recipe? I do, I do, I do. Uh, that's usually when I play. Uh, Mondays and Fridays, that's usually when I play. And then uh, Tuesday... Friday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I usually play 
some assortment of games, but I usually play the SMP. That's normally what people see me doing. I wouldn't usually be on the line even right now if it weren't for the fact that I was uh, just playing this game to troll people, honestly. That was... That was my original thought process, anyway. Okay, let's do that. We did win, so we got a little bit extra diplomacy. We're good. Need to join? I'm crazy at Minecraft. If you want to join uh, Exclamation Mark IP, uh, there's all the information you need there. Now we won. We won. Man. We kind of killed them, I'm not gonna lie. Did they all just like kind of bow down to my might or something here? Um, let's see. So everybody that hates my policies right now, if I go in and fight them, it usually boosts me, I think. Like right now, I just got United Kingdom, so... It looks like I, it's in my best interest to take out anybody that just hates me. So we're taking out India next. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to nuke them. I need the achievement. Uh, it didn't work out too well, that's fine. We're just gonna go to war then. And... Australia has a 9. Brazil, how are you feeling? 5? Canada has 22 there. If I can drop them down enough, we'd be fine. Japan's pretty bad. We could go in on them. Okay. We'll roll with that for now and see how things go. Thought it was because of election date. That's kind of why I felt like playing it today. It's like, it would be funny. People, people wouldn't know what in the world to do about it. I was like, yeah, we're, we're gonna play, we're gonna play a funny little game called I'm Your President. And, uh, we're gonna play it and have nobody talk about politics whatsoever. <laughs> seven, eight, or nine? Seven. Seven hundred percent. Afraid North Korea started conducting test firings? Oh. Uh, okay. Can we already get through this? All right, if you want me to use nukes on North Korea, I'll do it. Okay, that's amazing, thank you. Ban public gatherings, what? Have you lost your mind? Why are you so nervous is your decision to let National Guard take over the streets in the cities? They were supposed to calm people down a bit. But Mr. President, taking our boys back to their bases can also bring the rights back bigger than ever. Well, you can't just... Oh, jeez. Choose my fate. I would say seven all the way. Whatever the fate might be. Seven. Seven is always my go-to number. Okay. Um... Do you have anything that can boost my politics at this point? That one does. That's politics and um, military, which might not be the worst thing in the world. I'm gonna try to hold off though. I think we can make it till the next round and get the piece through strength. In the meantime, take some global action, I suppose. We can do like one more war. Um 
Okay, we could do a bunch of small wars throughout the area. Take out Ukraine, Romania, all of those. Okay. I almost have all of, um... I almost have all of Europe, so that's nice. I need to grind your Minecraft SMP all night and get maxed out base and full diamond armor tonight. That... That would be insane. I, I respect the grind, though, dude. I really do. I... It's been a while since I've been able to do the early game grind, so I've been kind of itching to try it again. We'll see. Thought my... Uh, even... I even thought about the diversity of among- well, I mean, it's fine. Hello, can I help you? Is it true? I can't believe it, I really can't. Um... It's not true, I- <laughs> You know, if I was real, the aliens are way more powerful than I thought. Well, I wasn't talking about aliens, is it true that you brought, bought my sister Eleanor a ticket to the all-around world- all- for an all-around-the-world trip? I'm afraid I did, but- and it wasn't cheap. Why do you love her more than me? I do, she's my favorite. No, you're my favorite daughter. So I buy Eleanor presents to gag my conscience. I'm sorry. Then prove it to me right now. But how? How can I prove it? I want to go to Haiti and write about this trip on my blog. Why Haiti? Because I love their folklore. You know, voodoo, zombies, witchcraft. Oh, nice. You can go, but please be careful. Take a bodyguard. And, uh, enjoy. You get no sleep. Definitely try to get some sleep, but I don't blame you if you stay up all night either. I mean, it's I I I don't sleep well anyway. Nice to meet father. What am I? Some kind of Darth Vader to you? <laughs> Why don't you call me dad? You change this country into one big prison full of killer robots and solo soldiers, so you're not a dad anymore. Okay, wow. The only what is happening right now, we can change that. You should know that it's not me who put armed drones in the street, but with your help, I can make this country more normal. You know, if you don't like it, let's talk about it. That's that's what we should do. Why, why should I fix your mistakes? My mistakes. And who started the movie that started riots? Who's your friend? No movie, book, or game should be blamed for what people do. Okay. Yes, but also, like, you're getting mad at me, so... I want you to record a... In, I want you and Lily to record a video with a special message. Condemn the violence, say peaceful protests are the way to go, and then I'll be able to finally call the National Guard off the streets. This is a reasonable solution. I'm not sure Lily will agree. Now she hates you more than ever. So how about 10 mil for her to... <laughs> Next fully independent movie, just tell her that. Let's prevent the riots all together. You fake sick tomorrow, then I can stay home. Then I get sleep 16 hours. 16 hours ago, go crazy. Eleanor came to my office one day bragging about a movie called Super Smash Sisters. I didn't know what to make of it. Eleanor was so happy she's starring in it, but a sarcastic voice in my head kept whispering, Oh, what can possibly go wrong? And then the riots exploded everywhere, just like that. That movie yep. made so many people pissed because they could relate to what was happening on the screen. It was half Matrix, half Fight Club, and a complete shit show. Sounds about right. The oppressed were suddenly fighting for their rights, both in Super Smash Sisters and on the streets. I was terrified to say the least. Not exactly sure how to react. I was forced to either use the National Guard and fight fire with fire or ban the movie entirely and be widely accused you of suppressing that. freedom of expression. Not to mention letting my daughter down. Thanks to my smarts and gut instinct, I somehow managed to prevail once again. But this was a close one, and we were just inches away from the next civil war. All Over because one of one movie. stupid, yep. violent movie. Can you even believe that? Die, stop, stop. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, jeez. That was a good resolution. Uh, humane incarcerations and interrogations. Let me see it. What we got? 
All interrogations and incarceration procedures are to be subject to new transparency regulations in order to ensure the humane treatment of both American citizens as well as foreign criminals apprehended by U.S. forces. Uh, sure. My brain is going to explode. You know, your brain shouldn't explode, but if it does, um, you might want to see a doctor about that. That's just a theory, though. Um, okay. Um, not in great company right now. Okay, if I boost this, that'll fix my economy and my diplomacy right now, which is what we need. And then... Go back to the world map. Okay. Luckily, this might fix things for me. Okay, what, what all do we need? We need to fix politics, right? So my map is at negative 65 right now, and... All these other countries right now, they they don't hate me unless I'm trying to conquer them right now. So, so long as I'm either in the process of conquering them or I uh, aren't messing with them, it should be okay. Um, Italy hates me right now, but when it ends, I'll be in pretty good company. Russia's going down, China's going down. Let's see, so when Italy goes out, that'll be 40 that I'm not losing, which would put me above the normal bit. So then we can actually rejuvenate my politic count. In the meantime, we're gonna launch a couple more nukes. I can't. Okay. Well, do we nuke Mexico then? I stream it and me go viral. Seven or eight? Uh, seven. Seven is always my answer. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Uh, we'll send, we'll send three nukes. Well, we'll do four. Ho ho ho. Oh yeah. And now we're just gonna go and invade them. You're distrustful. You're distrustful. You're distrustful. Who's got a problem with me? Anyone else? You're distrustful. That's not good. I might have to come for you next. You're open right now. Okay, let's zoom in here. There's no active action to cancel there, so there he goes. Just slowly pushing the front. Just slowly pushing the front, ever so slightly. Okay, uh, one more day. We're actually nearing the end, so it'll be good. Uh, I need full max armor. Oh boy, good luck, dude. You should help them or get rid of them, but you have to do something. Okay. This is fine. So we need to talk about the phrase you like to use because it's stirring up trouble, fake news. Who told you that? I've never used those words in my life. It's pure fake news. Here we go again. I don't understand why the term fake news is such a problem with the actual, while well, the actual problem itself is not. 
There are no facts, only interpretations, as some German guy with a big mustache once said. You should bear in mind that your truth is another man's lie. You're the smartest person in this room other than me, and you're right. I should learn how to hold my tongue at least sometimes. Yeah. Okay. And full max tools and get an end egg. Uh, you won't be able to get the ender dragon egg if you're on the SMP. Uh, but everything else, everything else is possible. Uh, setting standards for recruitment ads. Okay. What are we looking at here? I no longer use violent movies, TV series, or video games for, in any of its upcoming advertisement campaigns. Denied. And an dragon head. Oh boy. Good luck, dude. It's present I read on your daughter's blog that she's going... That she's in Port Au Prince, the capital of Haiti. Why did she go there? Um, finally know the truth about voodoo and zombies, of course. Why do you think she's going? So I paid for the ticket. I'm a weak man. I can't say that to anybody. Uh, yep. She just wanted to go there. Zombies aren't real, and didn't you read my last report? It's not safe to go to Haiti right now. I mean, by not real. I saw them with my own eyes in movies. Of course I read it. Just remind me what it was about. <laughs> Uh, my report about all the... Okay, that's fine. And if the, all this weren't enough, zombies. We need to warn Alyssa. That's what we need to do. Maybe you should just call your daughter. She never answers her call. The only thing I can do is with the power of my screeches. Yep, this is what we're doing. Here we go. Alyssa run away from the zombie-infested country ASAP. The Haiti crisis is very dangerous. No U.S. citizen, especially my daughter Alyssa, should go there. Alyssa, come back ASAP. <laughs> Haiti is doomed in my dreams. I see Alyssa coming back to the right on the dolphin. Serious. We gotta do a serious treat. There we go. Okay. My crises are not great. And I don't know if there's much I can do about it. Unfortunately. So... Hmm. Libertarian... A lot of these are just social points, which isn't really what I need. Um, law and order. Mm. So late sleep. I just want to finish this playthrough. It's almost over. It's so close to being over. Plus, I wouldn't sleep anyway. Let's be honest. We all know I won't. Um... Fair enough. Uh, yeah, we're almost done. I mean, I, I've taken over nearly the whole world, too. I think I'm doing okay. I drank today. I had four drinks. That was pretty cool. I couldn't walk. Oh, jeez. You feeling a little bit better now, though? Hopefully? Maybe? <laughs> I take it, I mean, I'm still a little tipsy. I, I figured as much. One does not simply just walk that off. Oh, yo, we just saved Russia. Uh, okay, that's awesome. Okay. Politically speaking, we're not doing terrible. We just have to, like, finish our acquisition of Italy, I guess. Um, there's a couple of smaller countries in here that we could take. Macedonia and Albania. It's really loud. Really, really, really loud. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate it. 
Uh, I got completely ditched by a friend and he like blocked me because he regretted making a stupid decision. Like, why am I getting punished for this garbage mistake? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a fair trade. Um... Yeah. That sucks. Did he, like, at least talk to you about it after the fact, or...? Did Buddy just, like, straight up start ghosting you about it, too? We might take out the Australians. Nuking them would be a good solution. Um, that put it so dangerously low. Uh, we can send one. No way. No way. Yes. I gotta go see ya. Alright, see ya, dude. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, he goes to me for three days and then said, I didn't mean to disappear like that. It's just been in my head for a while due to regret. I thought it would be better if I just tried to disappear from your life. Don't ask why it would be. I don't know. I'm sorry. You're a good person. I'm sorry for hurting you. Then blocked me. That's insane. That's actually insane. Follow me now or die. That's... That's a serious threat. Wow. I... <laughs> I don't know if anybody's been threatened for that before, but they have now. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, do we win China soon? Six turns, E. Japan ends in nine. I might have screwed up. It's okay. So yeah, that, that's a little bit of a stupid situation, Nuggy. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how that happens. I, I know how that happens. It just doesn't make sense to me, like, why people act that way. I don't know. Um... We could put some extra money into some of this stuff. But I'm not sure it's really going to do me much good, to be honest. Just going to throw a little extra in then. It's fine, yeah. Uh, please don't spam AJ. I hate men. No offense to you or my boyfriend, but absolutely everyone else. There's a lot of stupid men out there. I'll say this much. There's a lot of stupid men. There's a lot of stupid women, too. I... Don't get me started, but I talked to, um... I talked to my friend the other day, and I... I... Sometimes I go, man, how do you meet the stupid ones? I... And then, like, he'll tell me, like, something, and I'm like, man, now you just made me feel stupid. I'm a stupid guy. Now, not in the same way that that guy is dumb. Um, I'm just blind and oblivious to everything going on around me, apparently. Uh, that's what I found out. Anyway, my economy is crap. Oh, no. Okay. What can we do about that? When I'm alive. Okay. We have lost a lot of money. Um... Okay. Oh, no. Okay, um... I made a dumb mistake. What I'm gonna do... Is I have these lovely little milestones here. And I would love to grab Law and Order, but first, we need money. And right now, in terms of money, my best, my best option is probably this one. And then we can also grab this one as well. There we go. Alright, we're good. 
Six hours? Yeah, I know. I'm not a huge fan of it myself. I just want to finish this, man. Uh, okay, you're complaining about rich people and... Fluenza? What? Can you simplify it for me? Okay. Um... Yeah, I need to look at something. I just realized it's been six hours. What time is it? You know, we had fun. We did nuke people. I don't have to end it at the end, technically. I could just, like, be content with the fact that we nuked people and then go to bed. Because I do have a headache. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do have a headache. Um, time to enjoy my last few minutes of freedom. <laughs> How are you, Reg? Doing all right? I'm doing okay. I'm I'm tired. I I feel like an idiot for all the things I've missed the past couple of days. My friend had to point it all out to me, um, which has just made life kind of weird. But you get a new perspective on things all of a sudden. It's like, whoa, I'm. I feel like, uh... I feel like I'm a changed man, uh, from the past couple of days of conversations I've had. Uh, she's been kidnapped. For real? What, what, what do you mean? She's being held by a terror group. Okay, time to nuke them. We're nuking Haiti. We need to act now. And, uh... Yeah, you, you get your agents and get her back. Do it. Go. Go. Save my daughter. I think I'm gonna stay up all night. Playing Valorant. I, um... Oh, she's dead. Okay. Oh, well. I just killed my daughter. Feeling good. Um. Did you really do anything you did? Um. Oh, Australia. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um. I wouldn't recommend staying up all night to play Valorant. Valorant. I mean, it's Valorant, but, um. You know. Yay, Valorant. Oh, I wake up and. Nine hours is when I go shopping, so I need to wake up within eight hours. So realistically, I need to go to bed soon. Okay. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. Um. Okay. Let's, um. Might play Papers, Please. Papers, Please is a good one. Papers, Please is a really good one. I I do enjoy it. Okay. We don't really have much left for life anymore. So, perhaps what I do is I nuke Canada. And, um... Attempt to finish them off quickly, anyway. That seems effective. It made me fail. Okay. Um. Okay, wait. We, we're not technically failed yet. We're just on our deathbed. Okay, I can fix that. That's easy. That's easy. Okay, we need diplomacy. Um. By the end of the day. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted, but this is very important. Um, it's not adding. Crap. Okay, if I were to remove it... If I remove defunding from some of these... Okay. Defunding. 
spawned it a little bit. There. I got 40 now. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're fine. Now, if I were to, like, go in and do this... Okay. Oh, Brazil hates me now. That doesn't make me feel so good. Uh... Why does everybody hate me all of a sudden? This goes for real world, too. Why does everybody hate me all of a sudden? <laughs> okay, that's it. That's, that's all we're doing tonight. I'll play more on my own free time, probably. I don't necessarily want to, um, sit here all day. Surprise your stalkers in <laughs> chat. I've got a few stalkers. I know which one you're talking about, but I've got a few stalkers. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a time to be alive, you know? I, I, I mean, I'm not one to talk. I, I stalk people too, but I mean, I'm not that bad, am I? I'm, I mean, I'm in bad. I'm I'm bad. I'm bad. But not that not that bad. Um, I'm sorry, my <laughs> I just died all of a sudden. Um I feel like I hit a brick wall. Um, you know what? I'm tired. I'm sure you guys are tired. I usually raid, but I can't even bring myself to do that. I might just like go to my bed and pass out, honestly. Um yeah, that sounds really good, actually. <laughs> I was going to find somebody to raid, but I think I changed my mind. I'm just going to go to bed. You guys go spread peace, love, and liberty or something like that. Um, you know, have, have a good day, night, wherever you are. And uh, I hope... I hope you had a good day today. I know today's, like, either going to be the single... Worst day anybody's ever experienced for the next four years, or it'll be the best day ever for the next four years, depending on who you are, because politics is your only personality. Work on that. But I know a lot of people hate today, and a lot of people are going to love today. No matter what, just remember, at the end of the day, your local elections matter more. So, you know, actually pay attention to that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow yet. I haven't thought about tomorrow. Today I had enough things to worry about. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys. Good night. Good night.